right, everybody. We're gonna do that sweet transition. I haven't made a new one, but here we go. Turning on that Street Fighter audio. I am back. I'm Zui Alva Zakatan, representing Kisaki. And we're back for another uh, bi-weekly series on, for Street Fighter 6. I have here SJ. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Yeah, so, How's everyone? Go yeah, so go SJ, with. picking up commentary now. That's really nice to see. We need more of them in this region. But today, week two of Street Fighter 6. New tech, general game plans have been figured out. Although some characters need to be fleshed out a bit more. Some characters like Honda, we haven't seen a lot. So uh, maybe we'll see some today. There should be one Lily player in here. It should be Doppler. It should be the only one I know. Should be the only one. He made it far though, that's Tony. Yeah, so let's see if people know that counterplay for now, but I hope everyone here is having a good night. Today, no coke. I'm gonna save it up for later at night. So we got water. Water. Oh. By the way, summer is here. I know someone got a heat stroke not too long ago, so take oh, care damn. of yourselves. <laughs> it's literally in Seesaw Factory, so do take care of yourselves. Be careful. But uh, Hydration check every 15 minutes, everyone. <laughs> that's good. So everyone, you can start your matches now. I'm gonna like... Matches now. So everyone can start their matches now. Streamed matches are indicated on start.gg. Alright. Share the stream to people. If you get bodied, your friends will will make Laugh fun of at you. you. Yeah. Uh and let me Oh, I haven't updated the bot yet. Okay, whatever. Um I'll do that later. So room is up. Still need to wait for dudes. Um let me ask. Let me check where he is now. <laughs> Don't go get so bold now, please. Thank you. No, look at General. We need to send this. Let me see this. <laughs> the child. We need to send this. <laughs> Alright, fine. The Alpha Jakarta. We need this. We need this as your next thumbnail. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, Slag. Uh, so, yeah, you have a little time now, so you can you can set your set your stuff, uh, or do ping test. We still need to wait for people, so maybe we'll get the second batch of matches soon. Let me let me message him first. Where is he? Don't know. We'll send him to losers later on if he doesn't get on. Uh. What's Nas up to? Is he late for something? I think he is. He he said he was gonna be late, but he should be on right now. But anyway, we can probably get A25 first. A25. Where's our A25? A Kivat and Chrono Cat. Let me call these two. Yep. Chrono Cat has has been like I remember him way back from uh one of the earlier one and done, by the way. Like, really? He was he was the Anji player, and then he had a uh, Milia back then. I remember, I, I remember him because he had that profile picture. <laughs> Wait, let me search up his profile picture. Yeah, it's uh, the prefect. Oh god, oh, the god. catfish. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's not. But anyway, dude, uh, please come quick. Uh, other people, please go play your matches. Your IGN should be as similar as possible, so that other people can search you up. Um. So A25 will be player one. So I saw him join ICFC recently. Oh, what do you play? I actually don't remember because we didn't stream. Fair enough. Uh, but we'll see. It'll be a surprise for sure. Give me a bit. Yeah, so if people don't know the password, it's on stream. Right here. Mm. Okay, hurt. maybe it'll be too small. My bad, guys. <laughs> it's 1416 the password. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so that was quick. Someone finished their first match already. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, Ooh. someone finished uh, their first match. Sinov goes 2 0. Um, let me remind. Four on start. Don't be heat, everyone. Mm. So do we have we have Kivat and Chrono Cat here? Okay, so I'll spectate this fight. 
finally. Yes. A Kimberly and a Jamie. Yeah, and he's doing quite well. Oh, uh, I don't know a Jamie. I saw. I okay, maybe it's a Jamie. I didn't see earlier. So start whenever. Mm. Hmm. Yep. So, swift, swift start. We can get this started. Hmm? Yeah, it's, it's weird that like when it loads, it just like stops the thing entirely. So I'll just cut this. Nice. So we got our first match right away. Oh, oh where is that overlay? Give me a good. You're good. Yeah, the overlay is in here, but I'll fix it in a bit. So early on, we have Kimberly. Of course, her gimmick is that she has her unique set play possibilities, and also she's quite the quick, um, quick uh, runner around. Give me a second, I have to handle. Oh, nice action. drive frame with the Jamie Five H. But... Yep, continue. <laughs> Okay, yes. Kimberly pushing him to the other corner. Kill him easily. Nice. What's up? What do you do? Oh, nice teleport. Yep, I'm back now. So, looking at oh, it here. Jamie? Mm. The Jamie is having a little trouble keeping her in the corner. Chasing with Drive Rush. Obviously, it's a good option if you keep your opponent down. But the problem is, you have to keep them down with the footsies first. So, now he's getting some momentum back on Drink. Level one. But he's this game is it. interesting though. He's not getting any drinks, he's just going for Oki. Yeah, that's the way to play it though, because you don't want to sacrifice that advantage against Kimberly. So this is working well. He's keeping her in the corner, but the driver gets interrupted into super. Well, get that scaling back and gets that CA version out. So it's good damage. If you didn't know, Kimberly starts off like Jamie and uh, support scaling, but now she is above. She's like 111% above everyone. What's her level 3 stats? What's the, what's the install for her? Oh, we wait. Well, let's see how this Kimberly jams out against Jamie. Yep. Nice, get some drinks off. Yeah, and good anti nice here. Chrono, Chrono Cat has been using that anti here quite nicely. And uh, since it's Jamie, he does cash off quite a bit with momentum in the corner. Going for that low, but does not convert. Nice drive reversal, but he has blocked instead. Yeah, so block drive reversal is punishable, just like YRC in Strive. And that Kimberly damage is so high, dude. All right, back to neutral. What do they do? The EX teleport. He's low on drive, but Kimberly might not need us. Es escape successfully. He's going to burn out. Does he burn out? Nice. He escapes the corner. What will he do now? Oh, no. The oh, DP. No. Oh, the stench. Oh, disaster. Kimberly. Almost had it there, but Kevat will take the first game out of the phone. Oh, round star drive rush by Jamie. Mm -hmm. So again, drive rush usage will cost you very little actually compared to the alternatives like drive canceling. And Kimberly, after that, um, after that combo, the jab confirmed into the gram slash, just like the Bushin slashes, puts you in fro range, so you actually have free Oki. Now he converts oh, to a better combo, he drops oh, it! No. Oh no! What will we do if he doesn't have Drive Beater? Yeah, but he's putting on Pro Loop and the Punish! Teleport, another Slash, and it will be the slide to end it off. And plus, the combo wasn't even done. She got that Tatsu to finish it off. Yeah. Oh, again with the Round Star Drive Rush. These two are going ham. Yeah, so that Double Dash auto times for Kimberly. So he's automatically plus for a Strike Throw. And nice try on the parry. Gets counter hit though, trying to circumvent her strike from this. Nice reversal though. Oh, nice throw in the corner. Oh, you now midi. Nice. Yeah, so Come on. keep it in the corner. Still zero drink levels, but if he manages to break through the momentum shift. Oh no! Speaking of momentum shift, I thought Chrono Cat will keep yes. it in the corner. Level 3 install. What will he do next? And Kiba doesn't even need to use those pain cans yet. He's just out damaging him through pokes overhead. Nice block. Oh no, that's minus. But does it get a full punish? Yeah, only close though. Gotta be careful since Kimberly has long limbs and Kiba will round it up cleanly. Nice job with the Kimberly. Yes. So that's our first match. The nice opening to what we have here. Give me a second. 
Nice. So good job to Kiva. We'll take a two or nice try on the control. So I need to sort some things out real quick. Uh, remember, guys, you have to set your name to be the same. If not, people can't find you. Okay. Mm. All right. Now you get it sorted. I'm gonna go do my matches with stars first. You can go ahead. So moving on, let's see, do we have dudes here? Nice. So, again, please report your scores on Smash Law GG to be sure. Um, and also report in the channel because it wouldn't be too hard to that. So, right now, SJ will play stars. They can probably use the streaming room to do that. If not, we need dudes to be here. Um, <clears throat> Thank God I didn't put this guy on stream. <clears throat> so he can go next. So Roxas, some updates only will go move forward. No, only will go to losers to fight his gauntlet. Roxas taking one, uh, two against one. Mangatsu. Got 2-0 against Dan Strife. Moving on, so Magatsu is playing Luke, if I'm not wrong. Everyone, please report on the thing. He on, on star.gg. Again, uh, do please be here. Mm. Alright, I have to de-kill this guy. Mm. And let's see, who hasn't played? Has Neon Christ played? Chrono Cat will be waiting and Neon Craze update will go to losers and Joker main and Sinnoh will be here. Uh, let's see. So let's see if we can get them both on. Again, if you have anything about Street Fighter 6, your gripes, your rank experiences, do do let me know in the chat. <laughs> I love to hear every one of those. So let's see. Hmm. So Sinov, I'm seeing if Sinov and Joker main can get in the stream room so we can get a match on. Because we got we got dudes uh, not appearing. So you go to losers. Yep, so enter the room. The password is 1416 and stuff. You have been playing Auto since Alpha 2. Yes, true. I agree. <clears throat> So um, everyone can search each other through CFN or make a room so that you can invite e e everyone easier. Yep, so enter the room uh, if you so please. So I'll be spectating. Spectating that. So we have Joker Main here who is actually from uh, OCE by the way. 
So do welcome him. He's in Hong Kong right now. I have to go see him sometime. And I really do have to. Don't want to leave a guy hanging in Hong Kong alone doing nothing. <laughs> so get on one. Start whenever you're ready. Nice. So Neon Craze will go 2-0. Moving on. Thanks, man, for being there in the beginning. I remember him joining. Uh, my tournaments way back. I think he joined the first one. He joined the first uh, ever one and done. <clears throat> and one and done is the first series that we had. So, bas so basically, if you haven't seen the Royal Rumble, it's like uh, free lives to win. So first are free rounds. And then you go ahead, uh, fight each other in double elims. But it's only best of one per stage. So that's a pretty interesting format, I thought. Because everyone was hosting the same stuff back then. But apparently... Um, yeah, after, afterwards it can get really tiring and some people some people prefer the typical formats. So, you can start when you're ready, uh, Joker, Main, and Sinnoh. Hmm. Yep, so... They have started. Uh, let's check this guy out. Joker, Main. Commentators match in GBVS, I think. I forgot who he played though, honestly. And they are on reverse sides, don't worry. Got this Cammy versus Jamie. Both speedsters out here. Both have dive kicks, but one needs to unlock it. And uh, Punk plays Cammy, so definitely a strong character. A lot of people rate Cammy really high. Joker main taking a great lead, uh, taking quite a bit of damage from Sinov to begin with. JV does hurt a bit, and here is the punish. Oh wait, but my bad. Joker main is the. So. Both players scouting each other out. That looked like a dive kick fail. Uh, you see that kick? You know it's not natural. And nice confirm, carrying the momentum. Sinov is gonna hurt him quite a bit, and is in. Is in burnout, but no end here is go through. He managed to go on the offensive long enough for his drive bar to recover. Drive impact! Ora, ora, ora. Coming through. Oh, no punish! And the cross up! Oh, disaster strikes! And Sinov does not confirm that spiral arrow properly. Unfortunate. So, Joker main, one game lead. <laughs> like how sometimes when uh, JB texts, it sounds, sounds like he's saying, Hater. And that's Spyro Arrow again, missing that confirm. Joker main really getting away with these huge damage opportunities. And Sinov will get that punish. And spending bar again, he is really not shy to spend bar. And he has three levels, so we'll see what the Jamie does with it. One thing that Jamie players do a lot is use uh, EX Palm into the level 2 super. But now he doesn't even need that, he's level 4. And that means he has all the tools he needs. He has that. Oh, that single hit confirmed. Not going through, bro. It's not a counter hit. It's quite tight. Yeah, so he has all the tools. He has that command grab he has from level 3. Got that damage scaling. And importantly, his record is upgraded, so that's way safer. It's not minus 6. It's minus 3 on the first one. Instead of being super aggressive with the strike throw game. Try to shimmy. No punish. Tries to dive kick. Oh, nice defense. But again, crumbles as he gets counter hit. Tries to defend himself actively, but in this game, you really have to judge your defensive options. Both players drive rushing at each other. Oh no! Joker Bay, why do you go for the throw? Heavy spiral arrow gives so much advantage. And rush back in. Oh, that's really unsafe. But goes for the punch wrecker. Miss faces the dive kick a little bit. So he does get punished. And it's quite juicy. Into the super. I'm thinking it will kill. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Execute. And that's the movie super for you. Sinov will get the swift first round. Jokamin was in control though, so do not count him out. Oh, that is... That sweep was not intentional, I think. That was really committal. But Sinov is playing quite patiently. Not quite anti-airing with um, the spiral arrows or even the back heavy kick. Still managed to be in control. So control is the name of the game. Kami wants to maintain momentum. And JB wants to cash out on that damage. Get that drink up. Keep that momentum too. 
and opening indeed. Kami says, gets that shimmy off. Huge damage goes through and recovers some of that drive gauge he's so needed. Level two. Level f Oh, he does not get it off. And there's level one, but does not use it. He is in burnout, but as long as he keeps it up, it should be all right. Joker May still has a chance though. Burnout is going to make his block streams way safer. But nice check by Sinov. Just a bit too aggressive on Joker May's end. My feasts are famine from what we're seeing so far. Spiral arrow! Corner carry. Classic move. Again, another confirmed. DP again. Joker May saying, get off me! Again? Oh no! He's getting so many straight hits in. And the throw loops. Ah, the shimmy again! And level 3. Oh, it does not finish off with a level 3, but... Cleans that game up. Joker may take a bit too much risk. Unfortunate indeed, but nicely done. And thanks for having you both on in short notice. Nice, well, well played from both. The like, aggressive players clash. Always fun to watch. Always fun to watch. Alright, I'm back. What are we up? So uh, we had Joker main and Sin of the Joker main is uh, from OCE basically. OCE. Yes, oh. he's in Hong Kong now, so I have to go see him sometime. That's nice. Yep. So, your match is. Yeah, what? Got one, two. Okay. So, let me go report. Oh, do you do you report already? Okay. So, A25 will go fight stars. Right now, Roxas will be waiting for stars. And let's see. Has Savio played? Let me check on them. So they should be playing now. Yeah, he dropped that super. <laughs> so you can go fight that guy down there. Hmm. Is he available? Let me check. Yeah, unfortunate. Joker main. Try to be fancy, try to be first strike. <laughs> Get that crouching medium kick into super, but just confirm your hits, man. <laughs> That's my advice. Jamie does have a lot of ways to convert to super. <clears throat> so Scarlet Petal Double J will be there. Mogatsu is still waiting for his match. And Luna. Okay, let me check again. Let me check the message history. So, obviously, some people forget that they are on schedule. Um, okay, I have to go move this guy down. So, how was your match? What happened on there? Hello? Oh, never mind. He's going. He's playing someone right now. <laughs> so I will go sort some things out real quick. So did this. They both on. Please don't be AFK. There's no way they are. They just played earlier. Let's see. No, never mind. They're both. They're both there. So, if anyone knows them, please ping them to get in. It is their time to play. So Scarlet Petal moves on against Double J. He will be in quarters uh, fighting people. And again, people welcome to the stream. So we're waiting for some people. There have been shifts here and there, and some people are light today. So I need to need to get those people on.
So when runner, please go play zone. So Pyrogor and Zwei, please come in the room. Again, welcome everyone coming to the stream. Everyone just woke up. Remember to stay hydrated. It is summer after all. Don't want anyone getting heat stroke. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll share some story time while I wait for these people to play. Uh, what happened? What? So I got my gifted diamond and I was like trying other characters. I still, I still can't really find a character, I'll be honest. So what, what, what's happening is that I'm just waiting for Rashid and I'm just gonna rotate through the cast. My experience with Marissa is quite positive so far. So, I think about this. She has good damage, uh, good stuff overall. Uh, just gonna really check the match. So it's why here? Okay, so um, she has great pokes and stuff. She has so much uh, of that auto spacing stuff going on. So you've got... No, you're, that's not your match! Oh wait, no, never mind. Oh, it's Zhao. Okay, never mind. Uh, my bad. <laughs> I thought someone else entered the room. So. So, yeah, she has a lot of those uh, target combos for one. They are quite vulnerable if you're not careful to drive impact because, of course, special impact. But the remedy is that uh, you can you can charge up your Gladius, one of your main uh, block string enders, so that it breaks armor, and then hence and hence it just breaks the entire uh, what do you call that? Sorry, give me a bit. So it ends up breaking DI. So that's that's why she actually is fine in uh, burnout relative to other people, mm. and it's it's quite interesting how different play people play in general. So I'll DQ some people. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So people do register if you intend to attend. So next time, like this won't happen. We won't get delays. So I'm thinking of having Nasus match on right now. Nas plays a Dalsim, so just like five Dalsim is quite aggressive. Uh, character. Despite being his owner, he is he is very capable of playing aggressive. Mm. Teleports to reposition for Oki. You got your signature float throw bait. Although they're slow, they do get hit stuff. Marissa's only need to do. <laughs> okay, uh, to be fair, that beats a lot of people. All right, the, but if you're playing a character with a fast DP, you can punish counter guarantee that. So it's really, uh, really strong in general. The character is strong because she can. If if you try to perfect parry, uh, Marissa, uh, I keep thinking far medium punch. That medium punch, medium punch. Uh, she can easily drive rush in, or she can micro walk, and then grab you. She can drive drive rush. Uh, that drive cancel it basically, and then she has her own mix like, between six heavy kick and stuff. So let's see. Nas, nice, please respond. So let me get that guy off the boom.
So Pasco is one four one six. Please get in. I'm falling asleep here, guys. Gotta gotta get in the room. All right. So you both can start whenever. Hmm. So these two players can start whenever. I'm sorry for the delay stream. Some people just decided to vanish from the face of the earth. So um, we will have Matthew and uh, Nas from our previous tournament. So Nas made it quite far. I think he was second place last time. So that's pretty neat. He did lose against Sayo though. He was playing Jury after all. And then just waiting on Nas right now. All right, let's go. So it'll be a okay delay. Thank you. So it'll be a Ken versus Dawson match over here. So just in time to spectate this match. Come yes. On. So we have a Ken versus Dawson match over here. Interesting. Uh, quite interesting. Yep. We haven't seen this a lot. In general, we don't see a lot of Dawsons. So Dawson, of course, being very annoying in this game, especially we got them teleports as we see here. Yoga fire, we got projectiles, got lows, and then... Oh, yep. another bait. <laughs> yeah, just, just a really irritating character to fight, and you really have to learn how to approach this character, because there are two moments, per se, I would say. So there's one where he's floating, and one where he's on the ground. On the ground, you have to really make use of the system mechanics, like dry rush and all, and if he's floating, you also have to do that, but in a different way, you have to time yourself. Yep. Dawson's in burnout, but that's okay. He's got a lively against the Ken, who's in the corner. Ken's trying to get out right now. Mm -hmm. Also keep me off the air. Ow! Bonk! <laughs> Just get doomed. <laughs> yeah, that's the best part, right? If he's floating, and like you're trying to like walk block, right? But maintain your position. You can get like, if you're like crouch blocking, or you're walk block, as we see here! You're getting slow, get slapped. <laughs> you just get doomed. Oh man. That's like, that's really funny to see every time. Alright, Ralston gets I can get anti there immediately. <laughs> as yeah. Dawson keeps under pressure. Yeah, as usual, Ken's trying to struggle to get in. Yeah, so it's not really as usual. In this game you can't call that as usual because matchups aren't as solid as they are. Nice try on the drive, uh drive impact because that move was not special cancelable, that standing medium punch. It tries to go for the shimmy, baits him out. Got that counter hit, the delay response. And keep the momentum. Right. This Eat is Ken's up. game now. Oh! Her boy, her play with it. Nice oh. job with the troll. Oh, oh. and the take throw. Yeah, no fuzzy bash. Not in this town. That's right. That's right indeed. <laughs> he, he's very smug <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, I got the zoner. Finally got it. Oh, that was dangerous from Nas, that one. Yeah. And oh, immediately the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Nas likes to teleport a lot, like compared to the other Dalsims we've seen. Um, a lot of them just start to push you out to the corner, but Dalsim, uh, Nas somehow doesn't care. Misses oh the, no, he dropped it! Yeah, misses it's the full punish! Yeah, he won't use the super yet. Probably trying to finish the round from there. And the shimmy! Please use the super it should here! Kill. Please kill! No, I don't think it kills. But that would be a lot of grab damage, and it will be one situation left. One throw will kill, like, literally anything. Oh no. Oh! There it is! Nice job, but they can beating the Nelson first match. So you got it's Nas, not yeah, second match going through again. Nas with that very active approach, throwing fireballs, but guess don't. He's in the corner now, so he has to guess. Fish engage! Oh, that... The fish engage! <laughs> I was about to say. At first, I was like, back then, how I came up with this story, I was like, he's like disengaging, but like I thought like he looked like a fish, so I like, gave up with it. It looks like stupid because you can special cancel it. By the way, that's how you can teleport after. Nas trying hard to keep distance right now, but he got hit by the fireball. Yeah. Not, not, not that big of a deal. You get more hits. Though. But, yeah. uh, we'll have to see a knife 
60 seconds because Nas is still in a uh, life deficit for now. Dunk. He needs to do something in order to keep that life leap back. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Drive Rush. I mean, Drive Impact, my bad. So he gets that life leap back. Just needs one clean mobile. Ah, oh, too far. Yeah, but Nas is not really pushing the opponents to the corner, so they still do have options. And now that is one situation. No, oh, what are you doing? What was that? Ah. Uh, Oh yeah, let me update the score. Man, you took the first one if I'm not wrong, right? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. So, round two. Try again. You have the life lead. How do you maintain it against a thousand? He tries to jump in on that yoga carbon. Does not quite work out. And nice confirm. He's a push no. up, but gets thrown out of the drive and pack. Does gets not drive react himself. Inferno. Oh, no. Yeah, still. Oh my god, he got oh, hit. Oh no. Yeah, that, that's why you don't float randomly, bro. Alright, both players now in a drive loss right now. But mm -hmm. Nasim slowly getting it back while Kent's in a slight deficit. Yeah, so nice air to air. Nas still keeping that corner position, but no mashes. Nas yeah. should be able to finish this off cleanly with Yoga the Inferno. Blanket. Yep. You call it Yoga Blanket? No, hell no. I call it Yoga Inferno, bro. Like, well, why, why, why would I ever call it a blanket? That's like the lame ways to call yoga inferno bro like oh, right, you got enough. the cool ways to call moves and then like you say blanket like the blanket is the v trigger all right like <laughs> not the same game all right good all get right. it back the drive rush gets interrupted by that slide and bad is not getting his turn back easily that's is just teleporting way too much low profiles that awesome quite an annoying character indeed as he slowly approaches you with the yoga moves yeah <laughs> Back to full screen. And Pokemon anti-air. Now some anti-airs are very versatile. He has like a long range anti-air, one that covers near cross-ups really well in this back medium punch. And of course he has the repositioning ability, even though it takes a while. And here again, Matthew is getting frustrated. Oh, he's losing his cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of anti is going through. Most of the damage are coming from anti so I don't know if Matthew will change his approach up. Like earlier, he tried to use the Dragon Lash kick. It didn't quite work out. That's why he's jumping more. But he, now he's getting hit by both. Yeah, and Nas is just really keeping his distance against Ken. Just not let him get close. And if he does, it's a full combo. Yeah, Nas is getting a lot of the close range hits. And again, the anti air. That's what we were talking about earlier. Tried to go back in. The first! Push and cage. And Hadoukens, yeah, good way to deal with the disjointed folks. Bring him to the corner. He has to keep that in. That not looking to escape again. Oh no, the lack of a meaty. Matthew is slowly losing control, but he can bring it back with his damage output. His drive is almost back up, but he has to just survive a little bit more. All right, he survives. No! But he gets shot on the drive and pack by Nas. That's unfortunate. That is Earlier really he did. Earlier on offense, he also did uh, did a button in your drive impact, which was like, um, which kind of got him in a troublesome situation because he just got thrown in the corner. Yep, and losing all that drive meter is just really troublesome against that also. Mm -hmm. But nice trial from Matt Yudor. In early, uh, in the first game, he didn't manage to get a lot of damage off before Nas could do anything. And Nas is very adamant on this game, but he, he will not hesitate to get out. So let me check on the dude again. Uh, don't not call people yet. No, hold on. I'm getting my match with Chrono. Okay. Yep. So you go play him. I'll yeah. go get that next match. Yeah, you can you can play in the streaming. Room. So Nas will go play Pyro. And let me go DQ some people. So where is match W? All right, so let's get Xavier and Mogatsu next.
Next one, Savio C versus Magatsu. Somehow he always ends up on stream. I have no idea how. This time I even made effort to not put him on stream. And hello ZTSN. Yes, <laughs> Savio is on his next match to be streamed, so definitely here to watch. He's gotta fight Mr. Content Creator here, Magatsu Bale. <laughs> Playing Luke. So I'm not sure I'm not sure what Savio comes. Give me a bit. This is why you read your announcements, alright guys. Go, 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 guys. Play your matches. Mm. So Scarlet Petal waiting up there. Pyrogore, you can go play Daddy Nast. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. And Kenji, but with the... I can't tell if that's Honda or not. Like, the star.gg icons are super small. Mm. And yes, Mr. ZTSN. Now, if you play the game, who do you play? Do tell me. So you guys can start whenever, but again, searching the room, search my name, Alpha Zakatan, on stream. My name is there for you to spell. And searching for the room, search for custom. <laughs> Easy win for Xavier. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Do you guys play Street Fighter? Is this your first fighter? Do tell me. I can't tell if he's having trouble finding the room. Uh, let me let me ping him again. Okay, you're in. Start whenever. <sighs> Remember again, get that water in. Mm. Don't worry. If you're here to support your homie, I'll provide the best of the commentary. If he does bad, I'll roast the shit out of him. If he does good, he will get all the hype he gets. Alright, we got our match starting. Let's get that. So it'll be a Kami versus a Luke. Interesting matchup. Luke wants to control this entire game. Meanwhile, Kami. Oh, he's a modern! It's our first modern Kami. <laughs> I've never seen a modern player here except for Oni. And oh, and the drive impact! Huge reactions from Zavio. We get that combo on. The cannon spike, substantial damage goes for the throw. Very nice. And Magatsu, not quite keeping steel. I wonder. Oh, nice response. Drive impact response. Luke will get his perfect, perfect. Oh, get that damage on. So Luke now controlling the pace of the game. Gotta be careful of Kami's spin knuckle though. As I say, that spin knuckle is projectile involved. So, shoulder characters will have to be careful. Zapio on the back foot right now. Magatsu a bit too close. Vulnerable to the cross up. A nice shimmy from Zapio. The Border Kami! Unbelievable. The Border Kami is here doing shimmies and all. Jesus. And yeah, beware the spin knuckle. No confirm though. And again, nice drive impact from Magatsu Fail. You can't do that on offense easily. Counter hit, confirm for that. Here it is again. And oh, what are you? Wonder why you did that DP. That will go punished for sure. And gotcha indeed, Magatsu taking one for himself right here. So Xavier very offensive right now. Very willing to just spin knuckle in. I bet he's looking for it right now. Okay, never mind. He did. Uh, he did hooligan combination first. So Xavier kind of putting himself in the corner. Cannon spike. Is not a good sign. That damage is gonna mount up because it's Luke. He has level three DPs to get out. Kami, the only one with a side switch DP. Very high utility. And Magatsu still manages to get out. Will Zavio make it out of this pickle using that crouching medium kick, holding his ground, not jumping up, not taking unnecessary damage. But Spin Knuckle will get him. Magatsu should finish this with a super. Will this finish him off? Oh, that's the one health, and people are pegging me. And stay down! Oh no, Zavio. 
threw that Hail Mary at the end. Bagatsu will get game one. Alright, let's go, Masu. Spread Knuckle to begin with. <laughs> And again, another drive impact. Xavier, you gotta you gotta tone down on those drive impacts, man. Can't do that all the time. It's reactable. And nice. Good choice. Gonna fight back for a space. Not that much damage taken either. And hooligan combination. Gotta use a bit close closer to the opponent. A nice neutral jump from Magatu Veil, punishing that move and goes into level one. His level one is the exact same as V Trigger one in Street Fighter 6. And damn. Xavier will get punched in the face by Makatsu. What? Raw Star Spider-Man, what are you doing, Xavier? Your friends are here watching, and you're doing this. Okay, nice combo. I'm not sure if that's a modern combo, though. But it is what it is. Still a BMB. Good enough. Go for the Fro loops. One more. Yep, disengage safely. Keep that corner pressure on Makatsu being really patient here. He's looking for something. The jump. Create some space for himself. Tags her with the sand blast. Again. Making more space. Spin knuckle. And he's too late for that. He will get that counter hit. Level three. Xavier must be feeling good now. Drink your water. Alright, keep that pressure on. Oh no, the confirm from Bugatu Bear. Still no EX. One more chance for. Oh no! What are you doing? What are you doing? Times two! Oh my god, both players are trolling. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you got just super. Ah. Uh. Oh, jump to respond, Savio. Not quite anti ring over there. Magasu still has a slight advantage with your with his screen positioning and also the level three. But the first task is to of course confirm into that level three. Can't just do random strings. Yeah, route them properly using the EX. Escapes using the EXDP. Again, very nice move by Sabio. Oh no, he does not confirm. Random cannon spike! What is happening? Magasu, you gotta get this. Can't just throw out random heavy punches. Oh no. Huge chance by Sabio. Gets out. Does not want any of this. Drops the combo. Don't want to force it again. Jogging for position. Both players can feel the tension in the air. Spin knuckle. Still looking for that projectile. Magatsu trying to stop any approaches, but Kami hasn't jumped yet. Okay, never mind. They're jumping nonstop. He has to convert this into super. Oh no, what is he doing? One more throw will kill him, but he notes the EXDB and Zavio will let his primal instincts control him. <laughs> throw that EXDB when your life is slow. Well, it could be the worst. If I guess wrong, I die. If I take the throw, I die. Might as well DP, right? If I hit him, I win. But nice try though, actually. Quite impressive to see that play. Despite being, if he's new to the genre, he's doing quite well if you ask me. I'm so, bad what I miss. You missed the modern Kami. And his yes. all of his friends were watching, which was- Oh, nice. <laughs> but nicely done. Like if he's new to the genre, he's doing really well, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. Nice try, nice try. <laughs> uh, his friends are like, <laughs> not like this in the chat. <laughs> 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 oh my god. He's, Back he's to boxed. Valorant. <laughs> Back to Fortnite. Alright. Uh, yeah, back to Fortnite. <laughs> but uh seriously, uh good job. If you're new to the genre, uh, keep playing. Yeah, well done, I guess. Yeah, this game is very, very fun. As long as you want to put the time in. So let me sort out a bit of the Xavier, you still have one more match, by the way. You 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 have to play someone in losers. Oh god, it's not you. Okay, let me get him. Are you playing him? No, I'm trying I'm gonna get him. Okay. What's your score? 2 1? Yeah. You win, right? Yeah, I won. Okay. I'll report for you. You'll go play him. So and Zy will be the cute. Yep, Xavier, one more match. It's not over yet for you. Oh yeah, uh, I I forgot to uh, add, edit the link and move on. So let me do that real quick. I'm sorry, guys. Let me get that bracket up.
All right. The link should be. Yep, the link should be up. So uh, let me do brackets. Whoops. Yep, so bracket is there. Uh, you guys can see that to see your progress or your fellow friends. No problem at all. Hmm. So next match we have should be between Scarlet Petal and Sindel. So let me get that guy in. Sindel. So we saw Sindel earlier. Uh, play against our man Joker main. Very valiant effort. And now SG will play Matthew. Which is which we also saw earlier. Uh SJ plays Marissa, if you guys don't know. And nice, Xavier has pinged the other dude. Good luck for you. Hope you're streaming to your friends on Discord because that is gonna be funny too. So Scarlet Petal and Sinov. Have not seen what Scarlet plays. He's a master player. Oh, Master Ken. Nice. Very cool. I'm only Diamond. So I wouldn't know. I, the, the grind is insane. It's not as bad as 5. Like 5 Warlord and stuff. So let me see. <laughs> Excuse me. So stars match. I'll report for you. Don't worry. Yep. So Jed, Potato Go, Scarlet Petal, and Sinov. You guys can start whenever. Yep. Hmm. And starting with Hadoukens, we love to see it. This is winner's quarters right now. So we are seeing a Ken versus Luke matchup. Both players have the shoulder tools, but Luke is much better at just controlling the game with his normals. More defensive oriented than Ken for sure. The Scarlet Petal scouting out uh, Sinov's tendencies in the corner and Sinov just being quite patient. Tries to get out, but the Ken was there waiting the whole time. Dragon Lash, give that free plus frame, and keeping himself safe with the EX Fireball. So Ken is actually not safe on a lot of things, um, except EX Fireball. EX Fireball leaves an uh, minus two, and he gets a huge combo heated up. And the drive advantage is quite real. Very patient play, confirms that punish counter. Plays that throw. Doesn't quite get a punish though because he did it right away. And another drive rush confirm for the standing heavy cape punish. Very important part of Ken's kit because um, they did buff that move. It went from minus seven to minus five. That, 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 that's the beam of the standing heavy kick. And you see, Scarlet Pedal isn't even doing much. He's just walking into the corner. The amount of pressure, the confidence he has to control the space in front of him. Another whip punish with the standing heavy kick. Throw loops are coming. He's gonna make him guess. I'm guessing the shimmy is here. Anytime. Anytime now. Alright, finally he gets the throw escape. Oh, and a perfect KO from Scarlet. Impressive performance. Very nice to see. Very dominating control of the corner space. Oh, you have to play one more match, by the way. Gonna play one more. Oh wait, is that? Just to be sure, it doesn't. I don't see two win streak, so I'm not sure if something is wrong. Okay, never mind. They just they just popped out apparently. Mm. So I have to go spectate their game again. Don't worry, we got the. We got to see this match in normal speed. We turn off the replay speed, so it's fine. So he swaps back to Kami. 
which is uh, what he played in their match earlier. Using the Sani heavy kick again, Kami converted for four. It's quite, it's quite uh, closer to her Street Fighter Four counterpart, so I've heard. And her stand, her crouching medium kick is uh, much more laggy, so it's similar to after she got nerfed in five. So. And nice whip punish, standing medium kick, very important tool for poking at neutral. But of course, since it's not special cancelable, vulnerable to drive impact. And look at that difference. Set up much more comfortable on this character against the Ken. And the Fro will see the deal. It's like he got revenge on Scarlet Petal. That's the first round going to Sinnoh. Tries to fish something with the drive rush. And again, Scarlet Petal moving him into the corner steadily. Kami does manage to fight back though. But again, shifting. Dragon Lash plus one fights back. Mashes it, and nice confirms from Sinnoh. We don't drop those here now. Jockeying for space. Sinnoh using quite a few dashes here and there, and some drive rushes to just reclaim a little bit of space, forcing Scarlet Petal to block. Not overextend. Whoa, he tried to parry the dive kick there. And great check on that rush. And that's all the corner. Corner space got back for uh, Scarlet Petal. So much for being... Uh, so much for fighting the whole time, Sinnoh. My bad. Uh, Ken just has so much corner carry, and that confirmed into the corner. The throw. Two more guesses. And the shimmy will confirm the kill. Scarlet Petal playing so, so solid. Free meter on deck for both players. And nice confirm on the medium kick target combo. DP will swap places. Kami's the only one to have that again. I have to mention this because it's just so good. Can of strike. Not quite worth punishing. Still fine. At least he didn't get hit. And nice confirm into the shore. You can send off going for the overhead. Does not go for the super again. And because that's not confirmable. You're just gonna have to buffer it the entire time. <laughs> Daigo made a video talking about it too. And nice drive rush up the aggression. Super. Bringing the heat. Uh. Ooh, the damage and Shinryu Repa Scarlet Petal finishes this off very, very nicely played by Scarlet Petal. Just so much uh, of that fundamental control from Scarlet Petal, moving him to the corner steadily. Strong, uh, strong, patient play. Mm. Got knocked out. Yes, nice try. So Scarlet Petal, super solid can will move on to fight Nas later. And then we have Mr. Roxas. Roxas versus A25. Oh, Zangief, hell yeah. Yeah, I love Zangief matches. <sighs> Actually, I'm not sure. Oh, wait, sorry. Forgot to switch back the scene. So, forgot if uh, Scarlet Petal is from the Street Fighter 6 server. Because he was playing super solid. Just slowly shifting. Yeah, he's from the Street Fighter 6. Nice job. Uh, Good showing. Because a lot of the players here are came from the anime side of things. So nice to see some people who just come from the Street Fighter period. Next one, we have Roxas. We had him before. And A25, of which we had earlier too. Roxas we had last stream. For Driveline. Did he not get knocked out pretty early? I don't know. He got knocked out in the middle. So uh, uh, both can start whenever. Right, let's see how this matchup plays. Yeah, so Kimberly has to play very, very carefully. Of course, you you can continue the pressure with the Vortexes and Zangief unless... Well, I don't know if Roxas has learned it. The jump cancel uh, SPD. Very important defensive technique because in this game, <laughs> SPDs are not throw and vulnerable. And Kimberly is it by essence a strike throw character with how her converts like meter to throw range and stuff. Hmm. Oh nice sweet. Quick gets thrown instead. Alright, what was that give you now? Nice punish counter. Give it the pressure. Hit L S P D goes in. Yeah, so Oh, nice. I love that. I love that. I posted that before, by the way. <laughs> that, that string is so, so hard to react to. 
because of how fast it is. And oh, that's an ender we don't see often because people usually opt for corner carry and not oh, really? that. Yeah, people are usually opt for corner carry and nice use of the armor. Oh, can confirm to something. Yep. But she's low on the drive meter. Uh -huh. She's in burnout now. Yep. Uh, other than than the obvious, uh, we got Rox is just moving him to the corner slowly and steadily. And don't forget, Drive Impact has chip damage. So as you see there on top, there's a C. And EX teleport, bringing Kimberly closer to the corner. This is the usual route we see. Tries to catch him walking back with the sweep. And but lots of pokes going out from Ro Roxas. And the headbutt plus. Oh my god! He mashed on the headbutt. Uh, okay. That's the plus range okay. and then the throw finally. <laughs> oh, tries to go for the SPD there, but Kimberly reacts to it. Mm -hmm. Wait, dude, you don't react to the SPD. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> oh my god, I read. <laughs> yeah. So you got that. Uh, got that free meter on Roxas end. So A25 can't even run offense safely without the drive. So now he's just playing slowly. And again, All right. using that using that run, we don't see that commonly because it is very unsafe. People can poke you out. And speaking of pokes, that confirms Jackhammer. Jack he can move forward. No Jackhammer. Yeah, nice choice of an ender. Gives you Oki in the corner. And no! Oh, wait! Oh my god! What? He forgot the additional hits. Okay, guys, remember, L the, the normal Lariat has two hits. The other one has five, but some miss on standing, okay? No, no misses on crouching. <laughs> yep. And nice routing. Good damage for what it is. Okay, we gotta play patiently and get to Zangief. You don't wanna go in too much. Yeah, so you got the sweep there by A25. Uh, very useful too. And that anti air bait that down uh what do they call that down medium punch in the air makes her fast forward right away and uses the plus frames that kimberly has from her cans no oh. combo oh no he has to fight all the way again nice <laughs> spd yeah he Close got flipped the... but immediately the spd but he oh. got he got hit again so the bear grab whiffed gotta call now Zagu's on low drive because he's gotta play slowly now Nice can play corner carry. Goes to the level one. Does this lead to Oki? Nope. It doesn't. But, what? Yeah, it doesn't. But he gets one cam back and this one needs to play quickly. So just playing slowly. Could have punished that. Could have punished that sweep too. But she does not need to overextend at all. Feeling super comfortable. A25 taking that. Right. What does that do now? Nice is the armor gets blocked. Yeah. Our random SPD of mid screen, but it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. He's got health. Yeah, so the thing is that that and that can be used as an anti air, but it's very risky. And A25 is just using so much meter just for damage. And be careful that level three. Oh no! Oh, drive impact into the level three. This is for us. Right. Oh, block it. Yes, nice. he stops it. And huge punish going through. Does not need that drive, honestly. He just needs to play this game back. You don't want that comeback factor to happen because she does have her scaling back. And the drive is going to regenerate slowly. Walking back is slower, though. And oh, he manages to escape the corner. And that's all the drive. Strike throw mix ups are going to happen. Rock is in deep trouble now. He needs to really end this quick, or he will get cornered. Oh, the cross -up. Oh, tries the Lyrian! But he misses the combo! And the reset! Ooh, that was close. Very, very scary. Oh, Guess that oh, low confirm. Oh, he chooses to do the high route and the shimmy. Nice shimmy! Okay. And Set the bombs. Oh, he Full misses combo. the combo! He tried to do the TK grab, but that's not work out. Again, the bear grab. Roxas loves it. I'm Everyone coming. loves it. I oh, am. Oh, no. One more. Can we get another? Yeah, I wonder if he's going to try that anti air bait again, but any poke will kill. He does not need to risk it. Roxas is waiting for any chance. Can't believe he's scared now. Nice. So after free normals, you are negative. So 
There, compared to Street Fighter V, you don't really continue your block shoots all the way. And Roxas playing super solidly, defending really hard at the end. Nice with the Zangief. It's fun to see one. Yeah, it's always fun to see Zangief. So let me put that down. All right, what do we have next in our to-do list? Uh, do you report your score, bro? I thought I did. Let me refresh. You need to report on start also, by the way. Always report your scores on both sides. Don't be lazy. So Oni will move on. I wonder if he's still on the modern manon. Let's see. Is she strong though, the modern manon? Yeah, she she gets more access to uh let's see, wait, double J. The so modern manon gets uh the same advantages as other modern characters basically. You have way easier anti-airs. That's the main advantage. Yep. Hmm. Give me a bit. I'm gonna report the scores. So Scarlet Petal and Nas. You ping them, right? Do you? No. No, oh, I was about to go ping them. You said it. Mm. So Scarlet Petal, the Master Cam player we have in here. Very solid play. Focused on that space control and with punishing. <clears throat> so basically your traditional Street Fighter player. Like, if you think of street, how Street Fighter players play, uh, this is probably the closest you have in this tournament. <laughs> Everyone else here is an anime player. <laughs> you, you gotta suck it. <laughs> so Nas will be playing Thousand, and I wonder if he will play the same way. Who and knows? if uh, Scarlet Scarlet represents the options out there. So start whenever. If he'll represent the same options as he did. Because this is a different one. Different uh, Kens will have different habits, obviously. And the approach options might be more familiar on his end. So loading. Nice. Alright. So, <laughs> I like how his tag is Ed Waiting Club. So this guy is obviously a 1 2 free fanboy. Huh. And nice! Oh my god! <laughs> that was a quick response from uh, Scarlet Petal right there. And. Repositions as usual, that's kind of what Nas does a lot. He does poke into the teleport backwards. He doesn't do any of the yoga flames from stuff like crouching medium punch. And man, the aggression is getting to Scarlet right here. Look at his health. He is like 40% left. Yep. Oh, he rushes into the EX fireball. That's quite bad. Mm -hmm. Keeping him at a bay, con confusing him, doing everything he can, including <laughs> the so fish. Good. Oh, that throw rate! Nice. I thought that wouldn't reach! Yeah, that was quite... Yoga. Yeah, another one. So quite far throw range, surprisingly. Maybe it's just the model. It looked really far. So, and floating again! Oh my god, the fish dodges the EX shuriken! What fish? Is that what? two fish? <laughs> oh, nice jab! Anticipates the teleport. He was ready for it. Encounter hit! He's smashing! He's in the corner now! We had a... Oh my god, he did the loop! Yeah, oh. <laughs> no one goes for that combo, except that guy, apparently. And... That's <laughs> nice, nice response. Job. Oh my god. He's stuck in the corner, he wants to get out! Not can get out, he's a Dawson. Yeah, too hasty, too hasty. Anime players are wanting to escape right away. Then you have that... Nice and... ball. Mm -hmm. Just keep your arms like... Ooh. Oh, that Super. was a weird level 3. Trying to catch something? Ooh. Wait, he didn't punish it correctly. Yeah, he did. Alright, Nas is getting jabbed out quite a lot right here. But doesn't matter, just keep the distance. He gets perfect parry. Full corner combo, combo by Ken. Yep, and then sorry again, and there. Oh, he tried to shimmy there, but Nas. Oh my god! Oh. We got a. Both players getting quad feeds of 
a freaking counter hits on the corner. Everyone's like mashing when they're getting combo. <laughs> like, everyone is like, if you drop that combo, I'm hitting you. So both players on the same life. The Ken has access to CA. This is a terrifying situation. Oh, oh nice response to that air. And that convert yeah. is going to kill Nas for sure. Scarlet pedal. Wow, damn. Sit down and shut, shut up. up. It looks so hairy for both of the players just now. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a weird cop. Weird sequence in the middle. Yeah. So second match. Mm. Alright, does not know it's the oh, perfect Barry! response. Let's oh, go. the low sweep. It's now Ken's time to pressure the Dalsim. Yeah, and the huge corner carry from Ken. Basically any combo mid screen brings you in. And the damage. Mounting up slowly. Nas is just trying to get out of the corner, but he couldn't. Oh, he's, just he's actually mashing. minus two there. Yeah, he's actually minus two there, but didn't mash fast enough on the fireball, probably. And man, the, the, would this be another perfect? The overhead! The perfect! The overhead. Their match down for Scarlet Petal, and that is commanding control. Very oh, solid. Just playing so patiently against this Dalsim right now, just waiting on something. And nice try on the run. Actually, I've never thought of that before. You people usually do a drive rush against Thousand when he's floating, but he just uses the Ken mechanic of run. The free option. The free option. And it's not Dollar Star either. You can attack from it. And another Dragon Lash. Get that plus frame. Backing off. Oh, nice response. response to the teleport. And the drive back as well. Holy crap. He's doing everything. Yeah, Nas is just overextending by this point. Pa! Ah. Very cleanly played by Scarlet Petal. At first it looked hairy, but he got all that control back within what? Within a minute. Like those yeah. two rounds are really quick. Very oh. nicely done by Scarlet. That Man. was well played. Yeah, looking super strong right now. So he'll be sitting there comfortably in winners finals. So Next one, we have a very uh, familiar face. And surprising he's up there, actually. We got Magatsu yeah. and Roxas fighting each other. Wait, I have the, I think the wrong Roxas. There are two Roxas. There's the Zangief yeah. profile ch picture Roxas. That's how you know it's the right, right Roxas. <laughs> Wait, there are two Roxas? Let me check. Yeah, there's a guy called Roxas PC, and there's like uh, Roxas. Oh, and obviously, wow. you're going to ping the guy with the Zangief profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So Magatsu versus Roxas next. Let me check their bracket. So nothing is wrong with the people. So Zokera, let's go report your matches. Yep, GG's to that. Let me update their score. So I think it's uh, two uh, there. Yeah. Jack Stilto and Jet is quite down there. Let me check. Yeah, let me. Maybe they're playing. Uh. Oh, never mind. They they should be playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's just wait for a while. So uh, I hope my matchup advice for Magatsu applies here. <laughs> I said you gave enough matchup to everyone around here. <laughs> the, the the trend. There there's this meme going on, right? Is that like people play me, and then they get scarred, and then they go play another game. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the cycle, cycle of the gameplay. So we got this is winners uh, semis, right? Yep. So the gatekeeper of SF6, ooh, scary. <laughs> I am the gatekeeper of SF6, and I'm not even a competitive player. I'm a freaking commentator. <laughs> All right, Magatsu Veil versus Roxas. So the objective of this game is very simple. Luke, control the game. Don't overcommit. Don't die to two pokes. And that's the problem! If you commit too much, Zangief has pokes like standing light kick, which he can convert easily out of. And that momentum shift is massive. Nice jump by Magatsu, but gets I reset. Oh. oh, full punish counter, but I will take it. Yeah, he gets... He got him low on the drive meter though, so Zangief does need it. But right now, any poke will kill Magatsu. Yeah, Zaki just doesn't need to go. He can play very patiently. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and see what this loop does. Yeah, also, uh, chat, tell me if the audio is fine and stuff. If the audio is balanced between us. Mm. So, Sam Blast. Back to the match. 
Oh, oh nice us. punish counter. Should be a full combo here. Yeah. Doesn't admittedly doesn't hurt a lot, but nice choice from Roxas conditioning with the slap. Okay, I see it's a little loud. I'll turn him down. Mm. Alright. Yeah. 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 Oh okay, yeah, I changed the volume, that's why it's okay. Beast mode, Beast baby! Mode. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, that's one help. <laughs> the Russian handshake. Oh, the bait. Oh, nice bait. One more combo, but doesn't yeah. get it. Yeah, well, Sim, hopefully it's okay now. I adjusted the volume. So that's round two. Roxas gets the first one. I hope Luke knows the Zangief well enough. Yeah, and the jump. Oh, uses that light button. Response to that jump response. And the counter hit with that long range SPD. L has the longest range and can catch you whiffing buttons too because you expand your throw box. Oh, the Luke is getting punished right now by Zangief of all people. Yeah, the thing is Roxas is just walking into the corner. Uh, he has been converting off like small pokes and pushing him with just one one combo and it's just so scary to escape Zangief when he has the pressure on you. Yep, and uh, I guess Lucas is not controlling the space well enough as he gets right impact into the wall. Borsh Dynamite! Dynamite! Yeah, that's so much damage just for that route. It's kind of expensive, but it is, yeah, it is very damaging and it's one of your best combos when you get that. And yeah, Rox is starting to represent that Pokemon. Nice confirm from Magatsu. Alright, he's in the corner now. Control that space. Don't let him get to you. No! The overextends and the reset. No Oki though. Probably get a sweep. No! Another! Can we get another? Yeah. So. Oh no! He misses the buffer! Oh, no. That's a huge combo. That's one yep. more guess from Magatsu now. Roxas tries to go for the four medium kick. Does not quite work out. So he'll get sent back to the corner here. And the stun. Oh, you better do this combo. Do a huge one. Kill him. Or he'll kill you. Oh no, CA. Yep. No! Oh no, he jumped. Yeah, so the problem is if you try to bait that super, what happens is that he just waits for you to jump. And he does Lariat. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, That's that a rough situation. Yeah, nice try though. The Scarlet Petal will be waiting up there. And, uh, whoopsie, lagged a bit. Let me check on the matches. Up there. Up there. So, Jed. Oh, Jed will uh, knock him out. Will fight Pyrogor. Has o is only fighting him yet. Alright. Uh, let me check their matches. So, well played by Roxas using that Zangief mental. You gotta, yep. you gotta jump into the, you gotta be like, what do you call that? You gotta inject in yourself into their psyche <laughs> and expose the, them. The common grappler's psyche, you look big to scare off the predators. Yeah, <laughs> like, you, know, you put, well, the, the use of the Larius, you like, make yourself look bigger, you know, like in the animal kingdom. <laughs> you make yourself look bigger, so you scare the people. <laughs> and like, what, what, like, you're big and you're like spinning. Like, what kind of animal wouldn't be scared of a spinning bear? <laughs> All right, like, okay. So, Mangomi asked, are there manans in here? Um, I think both of them are knocked out already. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, so, uh, Jack Stolo is knocked out. You're... Yeah, you're out. Yeah, I think no, no manans remain. <laughs> I don't think any manans are left, unfortunately. If I was playing, I would probably be in. <laughs> yeah. I've been Wait, playing manan recently, too. What does Oni play, then? Oni's... Oh no! Oh, he said Manon. Oh my bad, my bad. I thought Marissa in my head. I always mix those two characters up in my head. Yeah, I yeah. So, like so there's one Manon. Yes, there's one Manon in this tournament. Two Marissas. So Oni will move on um, against Kenji. Thanks for joining. Good try. So uh, let's see if we can stream their match after. We can probably do that. What about Pyro after Pyro Gore and Jet? They should be done soon. Yeah, so let's get Scarlet Petal and Roxas in. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Yeah, Double Chase is trying to find Kivat right now. Mm -hmm. So Kivat was there earlier, so he should be fine. Yep, yep they should be playing now. 
So All now right. we will have uh, Scarlet again, appearing a lot since we're closing down to the to the top players. So it'll be winners finals, Scarlet versus Roxas. So it'll be Ken versus that is Zangief. Yeah, Ken Zangief. It's only one, it's only one Zangief, right? We only this saw one. The Zangief. only Zangief in this thirty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only Zangief in this tournament. You love to see it. Zangief is just like such a menace if you play him properly. Like, there's a difference between a Zangief is like trying to SPD you all the time, aka me. Uh, but like, and then they bring in the tech all of a sudden in order to SPD you even more, man. Like that's like, <laughs> that's like the worst. <laughs> Have you ever fought a Zangief that's like not afraid to not hit you, uh, not not throw you at all? That's like true terror. The walking wall yep, of dynamite. Not. Yes, the the it's, literal. Well, it's, there's no, it's no Berlin Wall reference because they, the yeah. Berlin is in Germany. But we got, we got that great wall on. So Roxas versus Scarlet. Let's see how this works out. Roxas is very aggressive, in general, in his tendencies. And Scarlet Pendle is probably the only, it's probably the most patient one. Yeah, <laughs> he's just waiting for something to come out, and when he does, he gets an opportunity real quick. Yeah, so already in the quarter and nice! Oh, running bear! Yeah, running bear grab surprisingly works really well against better players, but not as much against, uh, what they call that? Against like your usual platinum diamond range. Because all they're, all that thing is like, I see thing come to me, I press. Yep. But in, in higher levels, what people do is they look out for a lot more. So running bear grab can slip their minds and just go in. And Roxas just being really aggressive at the start, get that snowball, let's see if he can do it this round. Alright, it's time for Zangief to execute his game plan. He's getting that OK right now. This training room is cheating, we can see the screen position exactly where they are. <laughs> oh, headbutt stops that jump, and oh, I'm not sure what he expected there with the back input. I think he misinput yeah. that SPD. Oh, Ooh, yeah. a knockdown to an OK, what will we do? It's not quite good, okay, but at least he has more frames to move around. Scarlet Petal using a lot of Adoic is moving back and forth. Gets tagged by the sweep, but it's okay because he carries him back to the corner. CA available. Oh no! Oh, oh level 3! Ah, oh, that's that! It will wrap it up for sure. I'll just update the score in advance, guys. Oh yeah! Yeah, that's the danger about Zangief level 3. You gotta be on top of that at all times. If you forget about it at any second. You're bound you to die. Way. Yeah, you're, you're actually going to die. <laughs> it's like an alert system. Like a nuclear <laughs> launch comes. When it comes out, you hear that iron siren. <laughs> oh, okay. We got that throw loops. Oh, no. You don't do that. There's no throw invulnerability. Unless you learn that jump cancel. And nice oh, whip nice punish. Counter. Yeah, so if you didn't know, that slap only combos on... Um, uh, between the first and two hits on Punish. A nice choice! Knowing that Scarlet won't overextend his offense there. With Punish though, bringing him back to the corner. EXDP, not quite killing. One last touch would do it for, against the Zangief. And uh, there it is. The trade, the trade. More, more in control of this match. Scarlet Petal probably downloading him like a robot. But yep. <laughs> well, who knows at this point? It's a Zangief. Oh no! That's gnarly. No. The scrambles. Oh! oh no, that was a missed SPD. Yeah, he backdashed there. And the corner magician strikes back. How's this? Plus, plus one. one. Wait, plus? <laughs> yeah, it's plus one. That's why it's stupid. <laughs> oh my god, that was really scary from Scarlet right there. He almost got whiff punished by that. Yep. Respecting the plus frames on the knee. And great oh. reactions. What route will he do? For a dash? Into boss? Yes. Bosh dynamite. Man, that's so much damage just for a fireball punish. Yeah. Oh, oh he ba walked back slowly to dodge an SPD and yeah, gets punished for it. A bit greedy there. Roxas just really wants to grab yeah. him. Shinru Repa will bring him back on the same touch, so he can't be careless. Alright, let's All go. Right, he's on the empty gauge right now. What will he do? That's DP. And both players are more or less. And he's doomed! He can't escape! And Scarlet Petal will take it back due to chip damage. Burning him out was a good choice. Keep him in the corner. Yeah, he couldn't do anything. You can't mash, you can't jump there. 
Yeah. So Roxas being a bit greedy, he could have won there. But he was yeah. really greedy for that grab. Yeah, Charles is greedy right now. <laughs> and another greedy grab. Oh, no confirm on that counter hit. Yeah, strange, but we'll take it. And another one. Man, you have so much time to punish the SPD after you jump. Yeah. You can probably go make a cup of coffee and it'll still be punishable. Nice cross cut. Pushing him back slowly and steadily. Scarlet Petal being really patient. Does not push any further because he has a life lead and that's punishable. Yeah. Okay, Roxas has played very patient now. He's on low life. Anything yes. can happen. He has to take some risks though. Nia, get, get uh, some knockdown of some sort. He's trying to get a conversion. Nice! Oh, that's the Borst Dynamite! And that's the same Borsh. touch. Dynamite. Dynamite! Yeah, same touch. And EXSBD will kill here. But can you get the pressure and removing his drive gauge completely? Yeah. I think any throw will kill him, but he has to earn it. That's the scary part. And Ken also low on drive gauge. Generates a bit back with that heavy button. How's this? Oh no! Oh no! That's the punish counter, and he misses there. Roxas clutches that round back. Just like a few pokes here and there. Zangi buttons do do damage. Like, they do hurt. He doesn't have combo game, but they do hurt. Corner carry here. The court magician strikes again. Oh, watch that beater, SJ. Watch that beater. Yeah. <laughs> He's almost at free. One more. The court oh! magician. The air siren activates. Nuclear launch codes go off right <laughs> in the distance. Yeah, he does DBI. I'm not having any of this. Oh no! And no, try and stop this corner carry. Overhead. Oh my god, that was disastrous. Is he waiting for a CA? Yeah, I was I thinking of that too. I was thinking if he was waiting for CA to use it or maybe just wait for next round. And oh, nice. No, full punish. Yeah, punish counter. He doesn't have he doesn't have a reversal, by the way. Oh, this is so scary. For, knocked out. Like One more guess. There it is! There it is! This is your last try! Ooh, Ooh yeah! <laughs> Roxas! Uh, Roxas takes it! Wow, this is impressive. I did not expect Roxas to actually take this because... Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, my bad. It's, uh... First to three, baby. Yeah, first to three. First to three. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot about that. Nice, uh, jump in. Ooh, nice! Oh, nice! SPD to get another knockdown. Another mix for the common. Oh, he was oh, charging there. Yeah. yeah, so against drive, uh, drive rush button, charge button is a good option because so many characters use their standing buttons for the plus frames. But in this case, he just gets thrown. Good response. We go for the loops. Oh my god. The only Ken who uses the loop. That combo isn't even like... It's not even like super optimized, like much more yeah. damage. It's just that bit more damage, but he had to do it. Sure, you can. Like, look at this. Yeah, this is more or less the same damage. Bates the throw. Oh my, my god. god. <laughs> this guy. This guy's insane. <laughs> Back throw. Oh. <laughs> this guy's yeah. insane. My god. <laughs> He's going for that tight combo, even though he could lose on at any moment. Yeah. Oh. Random and throw. Oh, the oh, drive impact. The counter. Yeah, that don't look good. Great end I sure you can. If he blocked there, it would be so much trouble because he's closer to the corner too. Speaking of closest, closest to the corner, he escapes from Dragon Lash, just making that plus one situation. Roxas inches back slowly. Oh, the Siberian no. Express became. Yeah, he was too close, so he registered as suplex. And good use of the pokes. Web punish will allow him to carry all the way to free fourth of the screen. Delay tag. Both had the same life right now. However, Zach, the can is at lower <gasps> life. Convert. One more guess. He has the CA. He's near corner. Will he look for a drive rush to escape? He will. Oh, oh no punish. Punish. Yeah, he backdashes though. He's closer to the corner. He does not want to get pulled by Zangi. Force no, knockdown. Check. One more poke. There it is. <laughs> the <laughs> Russian handshake strikes again. Final round. Roxas on match on set point. From this match. Oh, nice punish counter. He's in the corner now. But oh he my gets god. Oh! oh! No! That's a huge punish! Force dynamite! That's half help. And you don't have C back. How will you come back from this? Can so oh safe. no! Oh, he's, at a, he's at a critical life point. Punish counter! What did he do? 
No way! Oh, that was... The super wasn't fast enough. He just gets... He fails to get that DP super out. Does not get Shinryu Rampa out and rocks us. One punish and a dream. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that was really, really nice. Good matches shown by both of them. Roxas will be waiting at Grand Finals. Did not expect that save jump, but I guess that happened. I don't think it was a save jump. I thought it was just too slow, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I have to love that situation, but I don't think that that's the thing. But good, good job by both players. Scarlet was really making it hard to approach. Roxas had to, to take so many risks just to get in. Yeah. Mm. So let's see. I'm gonna update some of the scores for the people. What do we have in our next agenda? Yep. Are they playing already? Let me check. Oni and Kivat, are they? Oh, right, never mind. I think they should play first. Uh, can you play your. So let me get Magatsu in. So Kira and Jed, wait, who won? Oh, it's so Kira. Give me a bit. <laughs> yep. So we should have Magatsu and Zolk right now. Roxas is very nice. We got a Zangief Grand Finals right here. <laughs> and Jack gets very hyped. Oh yeah, I forgot that freaking Ryu Evo existed. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Was it this guy in your streaming room? Uh, should be. Let me let me send him the instructions on how to enter the room. Check your announcements, everyone. They're paying to everyone for a reason. Yep. <laughs> It hurts me to ping everyone every time because I don't like that too. <laughs> if you tapped out of the pings, you... I'm not gonna say much. Yeah, it's okay. We got Magatsu is okay right here. Magatsu having a... Having a quite good run actually. Yeah. Mm. Quite surprising actually. Yeah. Probably the up this combo game, just conversions and the game sense in general. Very important in this game because uh, a lot of five players struggle uh, because one, the block string aren't as linear. Uh, so yeah. You can you can actually escape a lot of block strings in this game. There's no like, uh, it's not like strive where everything there, there's always this order and then this layer is that. Um, there are a lot of things such as minus frames and a lot of things are minus. That's what I'm saying, and a lot of gaps happen. So it relies a lot on conditioning. And um, of course, the the essential strike throw game. Like in this game, throw loops are insanely, uh, insanely strong for what they are. I would say. Yeah. I Some people don't that. like throw loops. Um, I would be inclined to agree. Because um, I don't know. I I think throw loops are fine. It, it is a nice mental game. So it depends on how you digest it. And interestingly, we'll have a Ryu versus Luke match. So it's old gen versus new gen. Who will win? Choose your side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've never seen this Ryu color too. We're playing first strike over here. It's a banana Ryu. Yeah. So inching through Magatsu, uh, not using too many fireballs, and tries to air to air there. It's much better to just stay grounded and look for that, and no buffer on that. With punish. Would you say these two have a similar game plan? No, 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 definitely not. Ryu is to lock you down in the corner, use his stellar buttons, and once he catches you, cash out on that massive damage. So you can 
explosion. Yes, yeah, so that simple combo did so much damage. And of course, Ryu has that um, donkey kick to close the distance. Plus, if his fro loops are very, very threatening, he just literally stands next to you after he throws it. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, so Zaukira will take that first one very, very solidly. That standing heavy punch is super threatening. And just now, he did four and heavy punch, the two hitting one. In Street Fighter V, you're probably using it to cancel to DP. And this game is yep. somewhat of a catch people walking forward kind of thing. Ooh. Oh, that was a weird drive impact there, but it will be fine. Mm -hmm. He gets a combo here. It gets that damage back. Luke is much more suited to controlling the pace of the game, I would say, compared to Ryu. He has like a, a magical bubble around him to control. Yeah. He has like a lot of medium buttons, forward approaching buttons to wet punish, and that should be kill. Nice. No yeah, need that meter. Very, very Luke. nicely done by Magatsu, punishing that whip drive Luke impact. Look at his meterless combos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Luke is very drive efficient too, compared to Ryu. But, oh, the counter hit. Way and now he's in the corner. What will he do? He mashes out. Oh, nice. Yeah, so Ryu nice. here does not... Again, in this game, you don't have to open the opponent up in particular. You oh. can just use their, their need to escape the corner. If not, they'll just get chipped nonstop. And Zokira gets the first see one. that Ryu ending his combo with a Shin Shoryuken. Mm -hmm. Looks like that Ultra in uh, Street Fighter at 4. Yeah, but I guess it's upscaled to the max here in 6. Yeah, uh, in 5 he didn't have Shin Shoryuken. In 5 he had uh, Shin Hadouken as a super. Nice, get that meterless. And you see, Luke gets that Oki after that. But uh, Magasu not quite tapping him to keep it in. And forces to jump. Uh, Kind of forced to jump, taking the risk to move out. Not using too much drive impact, both players. A nice oh, reaction. Nice reaction to the drive impact. Now he gets a full punish right here. Super. Oh, nice. He does not spend the super and goes for the Oki. Great end here. Not to force the DP if you can't. Luke needs to control that space real good against the Ryu. Don't let it get here. Oh, it probably will cash out. Yeah, nice. Just get that. Get that round away. Luke also is stellar at ending rounds compared to Ryu, I would say. Because all his combos can easily route into super and his level 1 is really, really good. Yep. Nice. Checks the forward advance. Control that space. Cardi medium kick. We're playing footsies here. <laughs> Plus. Ooh, nice oh, response. Go there. Yeah, he tagged and it in time. Ryu just trying to inch into loose play zone right now. Yeah, the problem is that Magatsu has been super passive right now. And look at him. He did. He just gets Hadouken, Hadouken. And now he's in the corner. He has to fight back out. Catches him walking. And sh Shoryuken. There no should super. be a full combo? Yeah, like at least a full combo. And yeah, that's it. Let's get back a bit of meter. Not that bad. Definitely playable for Magatsu. But too passive, too passive. Yeah. Now it needs to start pushing out buttons in order to control that space. Mm -hmm. Like his crouching medium kick there, crouching medium punch. But Ryu gets an entry, confirms his short. You can very, very well, well done there. And look at him, he's at the corner. Gotta oh. punish harder than that, bro. Oh no. Could have done a bit more, but looks like. Yeah, it's fine. At it least he, fine. he got that damage back, but he doesn't have the level three. That he was building up, he's only level one oh, no, right he now. The combo, but it's undroppable. Yeah, level one. He does not need to over aggress. Oh no! Speaking of overextending! <laughs> oh no. All it's right, now whenever. Shit. Uh. Yeah, and look at that. He overextended. He was too greedy for the win. And now he needs to maintain that life lead. Don't be afraid of the chip. Any touch will kill Ryu here. So, oh my god. This is oh, bad for bashing. Magatsu. He's scared now. But Ryu's in the drive. Burn out. You have to do something, Magatsu. No. Oh, oh no. And yeah, Ryu will out. wrap it up. Yes, 2-0. Fan, everything went downhill the moment he chose to use drive impact. That is kind of textbook overextension yeah. right there. Ooh, that is rough. But nice try and nice run by Magatsu. Yeah, that was a good run. That was... Hmm. You really wanted to end that match there. <laughs> yep. Testing. I guess the real... <laughs> he tested the real, his real reactions. <laughs> yep.
Didn't quite work out. <laughs> Alright. So, Oni should be playing right now. So, waiting time. We got Nas and the winner of next one. So, I'll tag him coming first. That's just unfortunate. I would. Yeah. He was like such in such a huge life lead too. Could have ended in something, but you know, one mistake just led to a downfall. Hmm. Indeed. Uh, so driving pack is uh driving pack is great as a mental stack tool, especially in the corner and when you're doing okay. Because if you drive rush, do something real quick, like a fast button, and then like, suddenly do driving pack, people might not expect it. And even in high level, it works. When you saw an e uh, CEO just like earlier. Yeah. But when people are ready, and if it, like it's too obvious that you're, you really want to end that round there, you can pay for it really, really bad, and that's what happened earlier. Still waiting for the matches to finish. So we'll just wait. Uh, I wonder if we see a Manon. Manon to see a Manon a bit. Let's hope Oni makes it through mm. for the Manon to appear. Yeah, H twenty five, still has a solid game going on. So he might he might be able to dismount that. Oni has been running through losers for quite a long while. Yeah, he ran the whole losers gauntlet all the way to losers round six. So that's quite oh, well played by him. Yeah. Oh, man's been climbing. Hmm. So let's see. So losers semis onwards will be first to three. Losers quarters is still first to two. By the way. Yep. Hmm. Oni. Yep. They just finished their match. Okay, so Oni actually takes that. Yeah. 2 1 oh, against nice. Kiva. Yeah, Finally, so, a Manon. <laughs> yeah, we see a Manon on stream for once. So Oni come into the room. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be Nas versus Oni. We've seen Oni quite a lot recently, ever since. Uh, what do you call that? The Grand Blue versus tournaments that we had. Man's been making a name for himself lately. Mm, with that, well, to uh, be fair, I think he already did. Yeah, he he already has that uh, Charlotte, infamous Charlotta going on. <laughs> he, the Charlotta is just so aggressive compared to others. He's willing to do flips, do DBs to get in, and those things. Mm. Yep. yep Alright, so not nice. having some connection issues. Mm. Just wait for a while. Yep, that's fine by me. Let's see, so Oni is in. We gotta wait for Nas. Have you been playing any rank recently? For well, sure. if I rank, you mean the same five people I meet every time I <laughs> hop onto it, well, then yeah. yes. Yeah, the matchmaking is kinda kinda oof. Even though the netcode is like this good, right? That's the that's yeah. the saddest part. <clears throat> We can't have all the good things, can we? <laughs> yeah, at least it's not KOF level bad, you know? Yeah, at least we're not suffering delay-based, unplayable rooms. No, no, KOF had, if I'm not wrong, the netcode afterwards was okay, but the problem was the matchmaking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we got Nasoni. Start whenever. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. I wonder if he has an error over there. He says uh, two communication errors. Yep. So I'm waiting. Okay, they, they managed to start. Hmm. So it will be a Manon versus Dawson. I played this quite a bit recently, but the Dawson really? is not is not nice. And I don't play modern Manon. So I'm very curious to see. If the modern is going to allow quicker approaches, like you see the float, you react immediately kind of plays. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really curious if that will happen. All right, saw some advantage just trying to close in the distance. Mm -hmm. Can be a Dulls. can afford to be patient right now because he's backing himself. Also, that's the that's the uh, what do they call that? That's the anti air that uh, you really use if you're on modern mana. That's combo number one overhead. Oh. That's the BMB and the that overhead is really nice because you can drive cancel it. It's special cancelable. 
three battles already. Oh, good strike to infect it, though. Inferno! Oh, and it's empty. The tank is out. But he has it's... such a huge life lead and three medals, so I think yeah, it's he fine. He doesn't need to worry much at all against the Dawson. Mm. The Dawson the... needs to worry against the Madden. Yeah, he has to take risks to go in. He can, he can just chill with the back. Oh, nice try. But does not get a clean hit. Bonks him in the head. Drive is about to come back. And the oh, life oh. lead just diminishes. Dawson got everything back. And Oni is being... Quite a bit impatient here. That's who is whiffing his buttons. You gotta whip punish those. Oh, huge! Nice, there it is. Yeah, jumps in on the buttons. If you throw out so many, you're leaving yourself open to movements. Get the throw instead. Now Dawson can keep the space and need it. Mana just parries everything, just trying to find an opportunity. Go straight in. Yeah. But gets tapped by a fireball instead. Uh, Mana has a, quite a few burst approach options, you could say. She has that uh, quarterback medium kick, quarterback quarterback light kick, as we see there, but it won't hit if Dowsim is floating, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's good for closing space, but not when he's in the air. That's yeah, another option. It's for good that. to, most notably, the utility is in catching people standing and walking because it's quite hard to react to. And that works with the other thread of the overhead. So I wonder if we'll see it soon. That's not the overhead, but that's the command normal. Goes into four stocks. This is... Ooh! This is bad! Oh, yep. This is bad. Will he kill here? It won't, but it also gets the Oki and the spacing. Yeah. Only moving back. Oh, the mix-up! But tags out in time. He barely survived that. If he didn't tag, he would have died. Now he just oh, needs to be just patient. Oh yeah. no, we got tagged by the fireball instead. Yeah, gotta be patient. Ooh, gets tagged. Yeah, so that button, the standing heavy kick, is really good to catch people walking forward. Gets okay. another anti air. Gotta stop that man from jumping. And it shows. Oh man. Again, the, the signature Nas repositioning. And this guy does not want to block. He yeah. does not want to block because if he gets hit by this command throw, he is dead. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh it Jesus! Oh. oh, level 3. It doesn't catch. He baits it. Okay, okay. It would be hilarious if he did not kill him properly there. <laughs> that, it was yeah. punished counter, so it was alright. <laughs> so that was 1-0 in favor of Oni. Spending the bit of that life to go in still ends up well. Drive him back to closer the distance, but he got tagged out instead. Tries to drive rush as well, but you know. I wonder if he'll teleport out now. No. It's not even a back throw there. So Nas is in repositioning safely. You do give up give up your own space. I just oh, tries to the end here not <laughs> long enough though. Yeah, her legs are long, but not that long, unfortunately. And gets that take throw the one time Nas does not jump or mash. What? Oh my what? god. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I don't know what, what he was trying there. Maybe he wanted to drive rush? Just preemptively blocking? He is holding that parry a lot longer than he needs to. But Not really. If, uh, because uh, drive parry only uh, includes the cost from the initial part. And then afterwards, the cost is much more uh, much reduced. So if you hold oh. it for a long time, you actually regen more. Oh, oh I see. Okay. Yep. So Yoga again, the thing, the issue we're talking about, the issue is that he loses a lot of space and he could have gone to stock there from that combo actually. Yeah. Perfectly goes for a knockdown instead. Now, it also just gains back that space he needed against the Bannon. But yeah, punishes to counter the anti air. <gasps> oh, now, he tried! He really tried to go for a big sub option there. Now Dalton's back end where it needs to be. Man, it's struggling to close in the distance. As she has a life deficit. Ooh, that's quite bad. Oh, that end here. Oh, he survives oh, no. that. No. Oh, oh he does not use no, super. super. If he use super, it'll be one touch. Ah, he does not want to come from his hits, man. Odi, you got a hit. Sympathy. Oh, okay. man. Dalton oh. is jumping. On wake up and all these just you know getting it. All right, keep your words together, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, Oni barely clutching it. Had to use the super. 
had to use the super, but that was him. Was on CA the whole time. I was like thinking if Nas will just use super randomly in that string. Or it was magic super in that combo. So Oni is actually trying to look for openings to use his drive rush, holding parry. So in case like he floats, he'll get in. And oh. here it is, this the level three. Your fate. Hmm. And that's that is very, very low, and Dalsim can definitely get all that damage in a short period of time. Oh. It should be game over for Banner if Dalsim plays his calls correctly, and there it is. Mm. Yeah, he just had to wait for the Drive Rush because it's so telegraphed if you hold it that way. You really can't just hold down the parry. It is good if you know they're just pressing buttons and fireballs are flying at you nonstop, but you cannot just hold it down and wait for the opponent to react because they can just do nothing and play according yep. to you. Let them waste their meter by doing nothing. Yes. So it's a good choice for Oni to slowly walk into the corner. And there it is. First mix up. Confirm. Knock down. Tries to go for overhead, but Dalsim blocks it instead. Yeah, that overhead isn't really for the overhead per se. It's nice if they get hit. But what you want is really that drive cancel for the mix up. And there it is. The hold down parry. What I've been talking about. Oh, the fish engage! <laughs> the side swap for the fish. Oh, nice response. Oh, nice reversal. That's now one of. Also to the corner, but mm -hmm. he gets out of it immediately by throwing. Yeah, that's not what you want to do all the time. You gotta move now as man. In. in deep trouble right now. She has no drive. She's in burnout. Any chip will kill. Oh uh, yeah. Be the chip that kills. Yeah, he's not even chip. He left that command grab. So right now, Oni has to find a way. He is on... Nas is on set point. He has to find a way to get those stocks back and get that damage ramped up. He cannot use that... Like just Oni looks like he's just pressing anything right now just to get a smidge of distance in for, in for Nelson. Yeah, he's hoping that uh, drive parry... At first it worked out, but... And then it became too telegraphed as we say that. He just gets hit delayed button. And Nas man, this... call out his options. Mm -hmm. It looks so look rough, it. and it's a perfect KO for Nas. It would be a 2-1 victory for him. Alright, I guess Nas moves on. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Oh, wait. this is uh, this is not the match. Oh, it's wait. first to two for here. Oh, yeah, okay. So let Anyways, me... back to the usual. <laughs> you, you, can, you, can, you guys can watch this match. This is like a bonus. Nice, man on with a strike throw for a metal gain. Oh, well, yeah, it's not. Uh, yeah, they know now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess they're ending it. Okay, they're ending it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're just ending it. So nice job to both players. Oh. Yeah. Only, only showing that modern is still quite useful because uh, he still got the normal combo routes. By the way, they look very, very similar. And in this game, if you do your Oh yeah, that's cracking me up a bit. So if you, if you, uh, if you can do the motion input for the for the specials, you actually get more or less the same damage. If I'm not wrong, you don't, you go around the damage deficit. Well, oh it, really? Yeah. But yeah, only just getting called out for his options right now. Like yeah. he just keeps getting hit no matter what. He can't get in. He's getting knocked back. Yeah, so the key buttons in that situation were definitely standing heavy kick. And uh, it's not even that much on anti-airs. He was getting hit a lot by fireballs and the approach, uh, the horizontal approach options. There's a lot of, uh, what do you call that, crouching crouching heavy? The, the sweep heavy, the one that avoids fireballs. You got the standing medium punch, the standing heavy punch too. The one that goes sideways like this. Um, it's very, just a lot of damage racking up really quickly. And the problem is that um, the, because they're heavy buttons on block, they do chunk a lot of drive gauge. So that's part of Dalsim's game plan. So we'll yeah. spe spectate this match. Hmm. So this was this will be loser semi. So it will be first to free. Let's go. Will the real triumph over the Dalsim terror that is NAS. Alright, we got that. 
Oh, yeah, he's using the he's using the young Ryu skin. I just realized he's using young Ryu. <laughs> Do you not notice that he doesn't have a beard? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the game looks surrealistic. How do can and look at this? Zokura really capitalizing on the fact that Nas is moving backwards a lot. Great patience for the sure you can moving back to the corner. Nas fighting back fiercely. Oh, calls out the fire blood, drives it back through it. The damage, the lockdown from Ryu. You gotta watch out. Oh, oh nice jab. Engage. Yeah, he he chose to jab there. I think I like that response. And the jump is gonna be huge. Uh, that button was for a long time. Yep. Right, does Nas know his game plan now? Does he get the read? Oh. Looks like he's trying to fish for something, but I don't know what. So great patience by Sakura. Oh, nice. Oh, he's watch. Oh, Nas is definitely looking out for more fireballs with that move. Yep. Because it low profiles it. But Sakura is really patient about going in. He just walk blocking. Okay, there he calls it out again. Yeah, he's, he's doing another low profile. And Ryu calls it out for it. Slowly building that meter. Even on block, you do build meters, so it's not that bad. Moving forward, also regens you drive. And no anti here there. I thought I thought Nas would choose to anti here there, but I guess he was thinking of doing more options on the neutral. Yep. And oh, he calls out that teleport again. Got a DP for that. Punish into a Shin Shoyuken. We'll finish this round in the very solid first game. He's being really patient about it. He's not even rushing. Because he knows yeah. that the moment he gets us right, he gets in. He's gonna punish him in a world of hurt. And again, the walk block strategy. Zokira be much more comfortable now. Oh, he tries to crawl, but he gets shipped instead. All right, that oh, that's <laughs> he tried to hit him out of it, but does not work out. Still, pushing him into the corner. Tatsu will give you that carry. Yeah, Dalton's just trying to get to space right now, but he gets drive impacted instead. Yeah, he was on burnout, couldn't defend himself, and he's looking for it! The stun combo! Zokira, another quick round. Yeah, Dalton's in the in this in a fright mode right now against Ryu. He's mm -hmm. getting called out for everything he does. Again! And it's the same again. button! Yeah, he's always going for that low profile move. Yeah, Zokira definitely feeling himself. Will we see some of that heavy punch knock? Oh, teleports back in the corner. He definitely wants to get out. Alright, he's got that corner pressure now. But Ryu gets out immediately by drive impacting. Yeah, gives so much pushback that move actually. Trades, but still nice. Creates that distance between each other. Nas definitely needs that. He's going Is on he the going offensive. Whiffing the buttons, allowing Ryu to get in. And a sweep. Not capitalizing on the plus frames. Man, he's trying to he's just trying to maintain this distance. He calls him out again for a move! No! Yeah, and Zarkira, it's too old. Being really, really nice with the jump timings right now. So it'll be going to... Oh, it's first to free. Remember, yeah, first guys. To free, unless... First to free. Let me, let me type, type them. This is first to free, my man. Just one more match. Or... More, who knows? Yes. So let me let me get them back in. Yep, the match is not done. So we'll have to wait for them to get back on. So Zoo So mm -hmm. top Yes. Uh, I forgot his name. Zokira. My bad. Yeah, Zokira. Yes. Zokira has to win one more match to end this head, or Nas has to win back three more just to yeah. move on to the loser's final. So, yeah, he has to re reverse sweep if he has to get back. And the, the hard part is that um, if he wins this, he has to go fight Scarlet Petal, which has been showing a really good performance so far. So uh, Yeah, but if we do, we get a classic Ryu Ken match. <laughs> well, we got Zangief up there. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is not classic at all. So let me see if Nas is still there. One guy is not in. Let me. Hello. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> what is he doing? All right. Did he leave the room? Uh, he uh, it doesn't say say that he left the room, but we have to wait for him to respond. He said GG, so I don't know. Let me let me ping him again. Come on, man. Okay, nice. It ain't He's over till it's say it's over. Yes, it ain't over till it's over. So one more match between both. Uh, Zorkira on set point right now with the very solid Ryu. Nas is a. Oh, okay. He thought it was easier. Already. Yeah, it's fine. So the key thing about this, uh, how they are interacting with each other, is that Nas is a very, very active Dalsim. So being active means that you're willing to risk getting hit to hit the other dude. It's a good, yep. it's a good an analogy, I would say, to put it that way. So Zorkira playing patient again, and Nas upping the tempo, not with the long range buttons. But we're going in. Yeah, I think he's mixing him with going in and keeping the keeping the distance. As you can see here, he will teleport in when he needs to. Oh man! As usual, the that, Ryu is slowly going in. That whiff is really, really scary. That standing heavy kick, but it is special cancelable. So if he dies, he will be able to react. And very nicely done by Nas. That's more break more he needed. <laughs> yep. It's gonna take. He'll breathe once in a while, just to re recollect your thoughts. Oh! Oh like, no! Oh, oh, it was almost a good call out. Yeah, the problem was that, again, he went into DI. He was just too aggressive. I bet he is looking for a jump now. And the stun! Denjin! Yes. Will allow him to do the Denjin combos. Show you can. Oh, oh he huge. went for the Tatsubaki. And... Oh! How will he fight back out? He will drive rush to get back space. And he goes empty again! He is in big trouble right now. Anything would have can happen. Oh, the punish oh, counter is... into the inferno! Wow, great job by Nas there. What a clutch play! Yeah. So again, right, another looks fish. Like Nas has his game plan set down ready. He's anti airing more now against the Ryu. Ooh, that That's is not, not true inferno. Yeah. And again, another jump. He's jumping on the same move, so maybe Nas will think about adapting to that. Maybe just parrying the fireball and then doing something he can afterwards with his long limbs. He's moving backwards. Zokira is walking him to the corner. And he went He's all the space. way! He just walked in and one combo! The throw loops. Nas is in the corner now. It's a trouble town. Oh, the tech throws. Zero on block. Throw escape finally happens. And that counter hit. Nas is fighting back. But that no. is not a confirm. He will just end the combo right there. Oh, no. You did the wrong combo. Oh, well. Oh, we get shipping it set. Never mind. Mm -hmm. So, set point for Zokira. Set and match point. Nas going back to his really aggressive teleports. And oh my god, that DI. I think he wanted to catch a button in the air. Yeah. He's doing a lot more DIs against Nas like, because he knows he's not going to punish it. Yeah, he's not been reacting too well to those. And oh my god, the throw. Speaking of punishes, <laughs> I don't think he intended that. And that and has. <laughs> yeah, another hit. And Shin sure you can bring him down to burnout. And similar health, but this would work and it's with Ryu right here. As he's at the corner. Cross up. Oh, he's waiting. He's gonna go for it. And misses. That oh, wasn't plus enough. Yeah, Dalsum just plays safe right now with no drive. Gotta get back. Zokira playing super patient. It is on match point after a match end set point. Oh, huge conversion! Oh. One more guess. The Platinum Ryu mix. The throw. I think he baited it. He did. Oh. And this will be set and match. Yes. Very nicely done by Zokira. Solid play. The heart of battle continues. And next one. We got Zokira right. moving on to fight Scarlet Pedal, Ryu versus Ken. Man, if only there be a classic Ken theme or Ryu theme. <laughs> yeah, I hope they they will bring back the classic themes. So Dude, Scarlet. they need to bring it back for these types of like situations. <laughs> well, so like uh, it's like what they call that under heaven destruction or something. Yeah. <laughs> under heaven <laughs> destruction is really good for a mirror theme, I think. 
two buff dudes on a pedestal to victory. What could be not? What could not be more badass than that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's in the toilet. Okay, we shall wait for two minutes. Okay, sure. <laughs> Any house? Yeah, there's a lot of. Um... Oh my god. I saw that Beast Mode Baby video. <laughs> the Wait, Alex, Le Alex Le has been doing phenomenal in this work recently. It's, it's getting hired everywhere, actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's, if it's because of a meme or <laughs> because he's actually getting a lot of side gigs. Well, he is pretty good. If you if you see his YouTube channel, you can actually find a lot of his work, and it's yeah. quite interesting. He he's open to commissions also if you guys want to. If I'm yeah, not wrong, last time I checked, he was open. A uh, good voice actor is a meme voice actor. <laughs> yeah, so uh, earlier, there's a lot of lot of interesting matches, and finally we get to see different variety. Not a lot yep. of Ryu's in this region actually. The only other Ryu I know is Terakus, and then uh, yeah, it's just Terakus. I don't think I've seen other. Oh Ryu's really? In general, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is the other Ryu I've seen. We also haven't seen a lot of DJs or at all lately. Oh yeah, that's true. I know um, Rondo is learning DJ, but he's probably just learning the game entirely, rotating between characters. So the definitive DJ I know is uh, either Faro, or you have players like uh, Xian. But like that guy, that guy is uh, all the way in Taiwan yeah. in B Cup right now. So if you guys are watching that, you can do that. They have this team squad battle thing going on. So Xian and Vicross are there. Also, DJ is very strong, yeah. Interested oh, upcoming SF6 quote unquote tourneys. We also got like, uh, I I believe the Crazy Raccoon Cup. If you are a fan of that, V tubing. Oh, because, uh, well, that that leave that for the casuals. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> so Scarlet is here. We are ready for the next one. So this will be again uh, first to free, first to free. So ready. Whenever, yep, they have gotten in. So yeah, losers finals, winners of this will go to fight Roxas in grand finals. Will Scarlet get the run back, or will Zokira rise up to the challenge? We'll see. The answer lies in the heart of battle. So so the Hundo can as you Ooh. go and get the drive impact counter. Yeah, nice that's start off to the round. Oh, nah, you gotta miss that combo. That's too finicky. Uh, the key difference between Ryu and Ken are one, their fireballs, two, their buttons, and the corner carry ability. Ken has just overall such a strong kit that it makes people difficult in choosing like Ryu over Ken. But Ryu does have a strong lockdown game. His fireball is better, so if you really like fireballs, I do, I do, I, I would still say, uh, go play Ryu. And his damage is really high. Yeah, any touch would be considered fatal. Ooh, again, but calls up for a drive impact yet again. Yeah, Scarlet Pedal reacting really well to that. You can't do that in higher levels. Just don't spam drive impact. It is very reactable after all. Ken is cooler, yes. <laughs> sorry. No, he's not gonna sorry Ken. I will have sorry Ken. Yep. It's always fun to do a sorry Ken. <laughs> so Scarlet Pedal taking the early lead. Zokira playing very aggressive now, and look at that. It's like their roles reversed, by the way. Like, the patient one is supposed to be Ryu, and the rushdown is supposed to be Ken, but Zokira is the one playing rushdown right now. <laughs> I guess it's a nice change of a playstyle. Oh. And he does it again! Oh my god, why will he ever stop? Yeah, Zokira needs to stop on that drive impact because Scarlet Pedal is showing that. Yeah, I can react, obviously. Like, why are you still doing it? Oh, oh my god. No! Oh, yeah, that no! Yeah, the call, uh, the the hail mary on that donkey kick. Scarlet Petal will get the quick first game. So much for meditating, Ryu. Like this guy is like super, yeah. super aggressive right now. <laughs> what happened to him lately? He did get like pissed off by some udon chop or something. No, no. But uh, Ken using a lot of those core normals and yep, that drive rush. Drive rush after EX Fireball allows you to confirm after combos. And a shimmy to punish counter. This should be huge for Ken. Mm -hmm. One touch. Oh, yeah. Uses that super to finish off. Nice choice. Nice clean ending right there. Mm -hmm. Scarlet Petal doing really well to just control the corner. He doesn't go out of his way to open people up. That's the key difference. Oh, cross cut. <laughs> yeah. 
And the Hadouken gets drive impacted. Ooh! Nice. He tried to jump, I wonder. Oh, he's trying to jump oh. to escape the corner. Scarlet Petal showing some hastiness right there. And now going back to his usual program Cross of controlling cut. the corner. Yep. Drive him back to Ken, back to the corner. Oh, nice catch on the walk. Sadly, no confirms on that. It was just a bit too far from for the light conference. Does not react that time, Scarlet Petal finally catching him off. And that Shoryuken will bring it back to even. Was, was Scarlet looking for something else? Is he not? He's not reacting to the drive impact lately now. Yeah, I. The the thing is that scenario is different. The earlier drive impacts he reacted to were on hit stun, and on special cancelable normals. That was just uh, directly to the corner. So it oh, is a different so. scenario. And nice, great defense from Scarlet Petal, knowing that Zokira just likes to jump a lot. And that one is not special cancelable, so it Zokira does cash out in that situation. I think Zokira is looking for that one gap where he cannot, where Ken cannot special cancel in order to drive him back. Yeah, but Ken, being the corner magician he is, just back throw him all the way. Has always been OP, and yep, there goes the special cancelable normals. He gets it this time, and now it should be a level three conversion right here. Bringing the heat. Xingyu. And great control of the match. Run stop combos are so cool, man. So they, yeah. they come from punishes mostly, if you guys want to do it. Most of the run stop combos are punishes, and they're very, very efficient. Yep, Zokiro keep up his drive impact game plan lately. Slowly push the can towards the corner, but he slowly gets out as well. Yeah, great defense from Scarlet and ooh, ooh tries to perfect parry throw. there. Yeah, that's quite a bit more damage. And if a command grab hits that, is gonna be in a world of pain. Ken also has Frolus baits oh, it out. Full punish right here, run mm. combos, but yep, ends it. Yeah, I I think it was the, the good thing about shimmying is that it also prevents you from getting hit from immediately. Uh, immediate wake up reversals. And there you can see the difference in EX Hadoukens actually. Ken's EX Hadoukens does not knock down while Ryu does. And Ryu having the corner pressure tries to shimmy. Not quite working out. Wow, such patience by Scarlet. Oh, nice. tries to jump in, but gets caught up by a Shoryuken instead. And now he yeah. gets carried to the corner. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what he was looking for in that jump. He was in the corner already. He could. Pressure had plenty. Zokira was the Scarlet Petal in that corner needed to be the one jumping. Zokira a bit a bit low on drive. As I say that he uses drive impact again. So again, Scarlet Petal in the spot. He's perfectly comfortable with blocking. Nice walk up the throw. Throw loops. Throw loops. He's taking the throw. Yes, can he slowly get out there? He can't be in there forever. Ooh, nice timing! Catch, holy! Yeah, and Scarlet Petal will finish this off with a clean... Shut up! A clean, clean, crouching medium kick into Drive Rush. Catching that timing, very solid gameplay. Scarlet Petal showing that kids don't have to be aggro. Yup. They can be as solid as a rock. So, Zokira, unfortunately, will get knocked out, but third place, Ryu. Good job, man. Great yeah, job. Yeah, that's amazing, actually. Mm. So last one, we'll have Roxas versus uh, Scarlet to wrap it off. The run back is yeah. real. <laughs> Scarlet Petal is looking really good right now. That's the thing. Yeah. So I wonder if Roxas would need, would need to change up his game a bit, be a little safer, be a little less aggressive. Who knows? Yeah, because he has that experience with Scarlet recent earlier. Yeah. So who knows? Yeah, might might have to. Uh, Scarlet might be paying attention to how he played in the previous one, and uh, if he changes up, he can really punish those high risk, high reward situations. I would say. Yep. So let me open the spectate. Start whenever.
All right, still waiting on those. Uh, let's see. Yep, still waiting. So, wait till Roxas to come in. So again, let's recap. Scarlet is perfectly comfortable in that. Like he was just so patient in the corner earlier against uh, Zokira and the Zokira on his offense. Even when he threw him so many times, he does not fall for the shibby. He does not fall for any of the jump ins. Maybe one drive in back. He got hit by one drive in. Yeah, he got hit by one. Yeah, but that's fine. In the end, he still got it back. So now he has to fight against a grappler. You can't stay in the corner forever, but patience is vir is a virtue. I would say. Yep. The saying always goes that way. You need to be patient to slowly gain your advantage. Use your buttons to your to your advantage. All right, what's the round start here? Ooh, drive oh, rush. Drive rush. Yeah, so take the corner early. Zangief defense is really really bad in this game. The nice the lariat does Let's not uh, cover cross ups. His throws have no inbound. And again, Scarlet Puddle punishing those SPD webs or web buttons in general. And yeah, thank you. Rocks, yeah, I guess he knows that rocks is really love to use SPD in the block string. So he walks back slowly Ooh. to make it whiff. He whiffs a button. That was a punish counter. And there goes half of himself. This is definitely winnable for Zangi, but he has to play super clean right now. Yeah, and he's low on drive as well, but he gets thrown instead. One last touch would end it. And there it is. Hmm. Yeah, very nicely done by Scarlet. Take control of the match, most importantly. Roxas has been super aggressive with the grabs and empty jump probably tried to SPD there be real yeah he's just calling out every jump lately just don't jump against Scarlet as he's getting everything yep another and this again. yeah being really ready in neutral and it's not really a call you can literally react to it I mean it is a core skill of of Street Fighter I would say <laughs> and nice confirm Brains the corner again. He does not have level 3 yet, so he can feel free to contest those. That's super oh. greedy. Has he to tried to go for a grab there. Maybe. But he is playing, being very patient here. Just jab checking any approaches. Standing like it. Oh! Oh, he tried oh, to reset. Wait. Nah. That don't work. Scarlet Petal looking super strong in game yep. 1. He can potentially reset this. Alright, well, Rox has changed up his game plan now that his other one doesn't work. Well, I don't know. He has to show it. If not, he'll just play aggressive all the way through. Not many people have super deep layer game plans. Jump again. That button is really strong as a deep jump in. Oh, and nice try reversal. Yeah, Itasan also does that a lot to keep him in the corner. And that's empty. Rox is completely fine with it. And there it is. Done combo. Oh, I don't know about SPD. Some people are up for the knockdown, the EX Lariat knockdowns because it gives Oki. But there it is, the running bear That's grab. He caught him off guard. Yeah, it's 23 frame startup. So like, if you're not ready, you, you'll be really hard pressed to react to that. And yeah, yeah Rox is using more pokes, still jumping. Zangief gets a lot of mileage from jumping after all, and he has more health to tank it. He's got a pedal. Caught walking. Nice knockdown. Oh, hot pick. Push himself out of the corner, that's really nice. He does not get need to get suffocated. Although the Ken is largely maintaining the tempo of this match. Jump yeah, again. Exactly. Oh, he wasn't ready that time. And there goes it's empty. Roxas with plenty of drive to work with. He needs to keep up this advantage. Drive Ken into the corner. Oh! Oh, tries to reversal, but this doesn't fully punish it as well. Yeah, that distance was awkward. Zangief does not have the movement speed to punish how he wants. There's the stun. He's about to get level three. Oh no! Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you can you can whip a special into that, I guess. But one touch and the trade Roxas gets it back. Not so easy, Scarlet. Yep. All right, now Zangief's got his game plan moving. Now he knows what to do. Hmm. Let's so see more pokes he... compared to first game. First game he jumped a lot, used a lot of that heavy punch movement. Oh, man, that Oki is so scary from Ken. Yeah. Oh, he gets driver. punched out instead. Overhead. No punish! <laughs> no punish on both ends. That run drop was really scary for the Ken. Nice catching up the movement. 
Yeah, and Roxas, you can see the choice of his pokes. He's doing using a lot of crouching light punch and standing light kick. Standing light kick being his buffer and punishing the fireball there. That's half health. Oh, just jab checking right now. He jumps backwards. Does not quite punish. And he is on low on life. I don't know. Ooh, he helped parry a bit there. Not sure what he was expecting. Yeah. Maybe a drive rush. Oh, that's a oh, punish. Nice and the reset. Oh, oh that. Oh, he barely killed there. Roxas yep. stole that round from him. Grapplers and their and their robberies happen so often. The will to the will to reset. Yes, Zangief has a lot of reset points. That's the scary part. And if you mash, you can potentially die from them. Oh, nice there match. it is, and another reset. SPD. <laughs> Does not give a lot more damage, but on punish counter, it really hurts, as you saw earlier. It does like yep. half health. Yeah, Ken has to play super patient now. But as he does, Zanki can just close the distance for another SPD or so. Another knockdown. Oh, nice whip punish. Nice punish counter. And it's a corner carry for Ken. Well, he kept up the advantage. Oh, no! He's level three and stack. Jesus no. Christ. It wasn't a counter hit. It was. He was buffering super! Yeah. And when he got hit, it was buffering super, by the way. There's no way he wasn't. <laughs> so I gave him the will to buff super to your block string. Oh man, that is hilarious. Alright, Roxas. Stole two games. Oh, nice choice. I wouldn't go for SPD all the time there. Because people love to react to SPD with that. And then that corner carry is just preposterous. No matter how many times you see it, you just think, man, that is far. Yep. Yeah, Zangief defense is crumbling right now. He has so few options for that. Wow, Mash is out. Oh, that was so scary. And that's the knockdown. Look at that life deficit. Just evaporate back. Two touches and Scarlet Petal is dead. Yep, Zangief can bring it back if he just plays a bit patient. Yeah, poke. Oh, nice. Oh, and the low crush. But he tries to grab again. Oh, no. That's too many. What did the One throw happen? One last touch by Ken should end it. Oh, what else? Oh, that's it. Ah, there it is. Sure you can. Yeah, that was really scary for Scarlet Petal. Yeah. He was poking back a lot, but he wasn't really buffering. So they didn't convert into much. Oh, oh great response. God. Nice. Yeah, and okay. he's just going for the full combos now, not resetting any. Oh. That was... Should be a full Oh, no, no, what are you doing? Oh, that's a lot of damage lost. What would Zangief do now? He has no drive. He needs to keep it out for a while. Yeah, he's gaining it back. Oh, that's a misinput DP, I think. That's a fireball on a jump in. And there goes his drive. His back still has the life lead. It's completely fine. And he is Slow. very close to free meter. Oh, that back throw. Yeah, Bring I him all the way to corner. Zangief walking for it. He baits him to a throw. Mm. Yeah. Rox is using a lot of non-committal pokes. Just gauging him out. Gauging that rhythm. Yeah, oh, that Zangief headbutt does not catch the jump. Zangief just choosing the next best move to close in right now, but he gets corner carry. Oh, back. that should be. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that should be the round. Yep. Yep. KO, and now we're in a two-two between Scarlet Petal and Roxas. Scarlet Petal making it really hard for Roxas to close out the match. He is taking so many risks just to throw him. Well, we get the reset by Roxas. Let's find out. Nice catch. Corner carry. Zangief tries to get out, but gets cross cut instead. Yeah, that's nice. And the same combo. It does not do a lot of damage, but the key value of Ken is that corner carry. You have just so much control of the match after you get the corner. Confirms that target combo. And here's the throw game. He has no defenses against throws. Yeah. Whoa, the, the stagger. And that's a perfect. Looking like a reset right here. Scarlet is poised for it. He is steadfast. Oh. Yeah. Nice drive and patch. Can't cancel and that. Should be another quarter carry. Oh, catching every button that Zangi pulls out right now. Good job. Yeah, keep that space. He don't even go in as against a Zangi. Yep, you jump out again. Likely. 
Cross up, and that's Oki okay setup. Dash once for the frame kill, and baits out this the. Be a full oh, punish. that's a full punish! Ooh. Dynamite! No! Oh. Okay, you reset. Oh my God! No way! Melvin, clean, but we take it. We are on last game, last, last match, and last point right here. That game can win this if he choose to play patient. But Ken needs oh. to watch out. Oh my god! He got him right away! He does not use him for defense, so he has to win off this momentum or keep the advantage up. Half health. Yeah, if he and got the punish have... counter, that would be so scary. And poking him down. Zangief's damage is racking up your mind! Oh! oh. 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 Dynamite! Oh my god, this is one guess left. This goes into. This went from good. For Scarlet into a disaster situation from one jump in. Oh my god. No! It's coming. It's approaching. He still but has so much life to right play now. with. One more poke! Roxas! Thank you, don't drive right now. Just chill. Oh my god. He's gonna. Throw? Yep. Throw. Pressure. Plus one. Oh! Into a... no, he... no, he drops it. Drop the ball. Never mind. Stun and he gets the reset. If he does not drop this, he will get the reset. Reset. Oh man, he almost lost it all, but he gained it back. And oh shot man. Up. Yeah. Held that yeah, that would be a reset. Oh, we don't see a lot of resets over here. Yeah. <laughs> But that Scarlet still going strong. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Yep, he popped out. Wait, is it? He called GGs. He wasn't on winner's side. <laughs> so that's one. All right, we got it. Yeah, so let's swap it. I wonder if they swap sides. Usually people swap. But <clears throat> so we got a reset. So we gotta go back to point zero. It's not over yet, boys. It ain't over to the fat lady sings. Yeah, so getting back on the carrier. Will Roxas adapt? He was really close to winning there. And he yep. seemed like he had a grasp, but he was a bit impatient in neutral. Yeah, he was trying to catch out that win earlier. Bloody lead to this reset. Oh yeah, my okay. god. Okay, he's just mashing right now, trying to get a button in. Yeah, they're brawling. Trying to get any sort of trade or advantage right now. And Scarlet isn't afraid to spend the meter. He would get it back through the corner carry and forward movement anyway. And catches him mashing there. And we'll spend the With super. And well, but you know. Kent's at a life gain right now. Yep. Mm. Alright, nice punish counter by Ken as he carries the Zangief to the corner. Mm. So right now, he's using a lot of that Dragon Lash kick that Zangief finds a hard time dealing with because the best solution... Oh my god! Oh, the... Okay, he, <laughs> he was barely <laughs> on the ring. Yeah, he was at a temper. Oh, no, con no confirm. Yeah, nice. nice. Show your knockdown. Keep that drive. Ooh. Oh, didn't get it confirmed. Yeah, you got level 2 there too. So he could have done something, but he doesn't need to rush it. He has such a huge life lead that Roxas is the one needing to take risk. Slow and steady. Catch the button. Ooh, oh, catches the rush. Jack Hammer will come. He does have full drive, so he can do the full combo. Dynamite. Yeah, so that's half health. There will be two more interactions for Zangief. Nice check. But great defense by Scarlet getting that first one even swifter than the Rocks of Snowballs right here. So solid play, pl paying him back. Yep. Now Zangief is just playing a bit more patient now. I think yes, the last match didn't go so good for him. Yeah, so earlier, actually, Roxas did attempt that strategy. He, especially a game two, where he used a lot more pokes on the arena stage. And that tried to bait the throw. Yep, now he's using more pokes now. 
Oh, oh tries to bear grab, but gets countered. Oh, splash. Oh, no. Yep. He felt that uh, cross up. You saw that counter hit over there. Yeah. And he needs right, to get to the corner. corner. Now he needs to get out against Zanki, which can be very terrifying to deal with. Yeah, it swaps places instead. And great defense from uh, Roxas right here. Catches him walking back, but not too much damage because it's a crouching light kick. Although can slowly yep. moving him back. Ken has a slight life lead against the Zangief, which is very beneficial in. Ooh! However, that Zangief is... can turn the tides with one SPD. They're slowly moving that space, using the crouching jab to check him moving forward. And yes! As we said earlier, he does move forward, but changes back to Hadouken, baiting him out, c trying to catch his rhythm. And he's almost at the corner, almost burnt out too. And wow, how is this indeed? Dread Dragon Lash kick. So much mental stack in the neutral. Can't react to that. Yeah, Zangief is mind crushed right now by that. Oh, oh no nice reset. Yeah, he's not going for any more resets. Just gonna do stuff properly. Oh, he tried to walk up. I'm not sure if he tried to SBD after that walk up. No punish on that throw whiff. Wasn't quite ready for it. And yeah, Roxas is looking at his movement quite attentively too. Trying to catch his walk back with the sweep. But man, Scarlet Petal finding the correct timing, freighting the needle getting out. And now he is the one on the offense. Does not confirm the combo though. Yeah, he needs to slowly get out the corner and slowly gain it on the Ken. But he's got good spacing. Oh, yeah, a lot of crouch slowly. blocks, yep. That's the thing I was referencing earlier. Rox is paying a lot of attention oh, to the counter hit SPD. Yeah, to the walk so that he can get a chance to get it. Sure, you can will stop him. Not gonna repeat what happened. Throws the Zangief into the corner, but he jabs out of there immediately. Yes. So you got free meter on both sides, and Rox is looking for a kill there too. If Scarlet Petal did not end here, that it would be a disastrous situation. Finally, Tex after that Dragon Lash, that counter hit goes into a super. And he ends this match immediately. Yep, so 2-0. One final game for Skull should seal the deal as he will become one. Roxas. Oh no, he caught it. He's tried to catch his movement again, but the drive impact will... Oh, he messes the combo, the drive impact combo. Oh, gets countered instead into an SPD. Yeah, now he's in the corner. Oh and my god. Grab. Going back to what worked for him earlier. Just hyper aggression. One last touch by Saggy should seal it. There it is. Yeah, the drive impact. Man, he was so he looked so patient at the start and then he just exploded all over Scarlet Petal. Moving forward again! Running fair grab. This man is playing with his mind. Oh and wow, this guy this guy's reactions are on point yeah, right now. On. Low on life. Holy sh Yeah, that's one and the punish counter on the crouching medium kick. Roxas deletes this that round. Was a fast round. What was going on? What we got here. Roxas is not completely dead. Oh, huge punish! Boss Dynamite! <laughs> Half health. What Again! SPD. SPD after oh, SPD. Right oh, catches that throw bait. No confirmed though. And a solid. And here again. Scarlet Petal is not letting him invade the space. Fox is slowly inching in. With the running bear grab come out again. Oh, but he's, he's just getting he's just getting pelted by the normals. He's just looking for Zangi's grabs now. He's got so Show you I can. sure you can put at the air. Slowly entering in. Just keep that distance, Ken. Don't need to go in. You got the life. Oh, another one. Great defense by Scarlet Petal. That lively just disappeared and now they're on the same touch. And Roxas catches him walking once though. Oh no! He is the one who caught, caught walking. So this will be set point for Scarlet Petal. Yeah. 
Yeah, earlier it looked so well for Roxas, but he threw it away in one round. Nice. Now he's just Short taking head. so much rest just to get in. And another uh, Siberian uh, Express. Do the mind game start now? They do. Yeah, that pun is counter throw. He tried to jab to stop him. Oh my god, that pause. Dude, the siren activates. The siren activates. Oh, oh the throw go. bait. And he will use CA right here. Can this kill? It does? No, it doesn't. Oh. It's one help though. And oh Scarlet Petal will wrap it up. What a comeback. And the reverse for oh. Scarlet Petal to to beat his nemesis in the bracket earlier. Rox has taken free one, and now he takes free one against Roxas. Very well played. Congratulations to Scarlet Petal for tonight, and of GGs. course, yep, GGs to everyone. Appreciate all for joining. Great performance. Yeah, let's go down tape that TMC five best game. So. <laughs> Yep, great performance by Scarlet. Managed to keep his composure even though he was playing super aggressive. In the end, it was the defense that mattered, the amount of control in the game that mattered for Scarlet Petal. And in the well play from Scarlet Petal. So we'll have our next one in uh two weeks later. So um yeah, do stay tuned. Go. Yep, stay tuned for that. And uh so as always, have a banger. Thanks for coming to the stream tonight. GG's everyone.